There's no money in unification. You can argue even today as African American, we aren't classified as Americans. We are a subgroup of Americans, mm. Native Americans, subgroup group of, of Americans. Yeah, there'll so, never be unity. There's too much money being made on the arbitrage of the lower class and subclasses for the elite. Well, there'll never be unification. Which, which is uh, it's impossible. It's mad, even when people ask about reparations, it's like it's good in theory. If reparations were given to everyone who should be in America, it would bankrupt the fucking world. Thirty-seven trillion. Thirty-seven trillion. We couldn't fucking withstand COVID <laughs> for four months. You think J.P. Morgan? Shout out to y'all, love y'all dearly. I mean, <laughs> be clear, Bank of America can afford to deposit all that money to us, and the stimulus checks fucked us up. No, it'll never happen. Yeah. All that shit's an illusion. Keep us fighting. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so special, I'm so special, I'm so special, so special, so special I'm like Ichigo, master in a red suit This my bank I form, I'm about to let loose Better make your next move, your best move Straight out the gate, niggas gon' hate and try to test you Watch who you with, who your mans, who you next to If you take a hit with son assist like a nephew You can never check us, homie this a chess move Broke this on a little short bus, I'm so special If man say get him, I'ma get him, ain't no talking when I pull up Park up, hop out, run down with my hood up Now what the fuck are you hating for? Can't DFG get money anymore? It's hot for Trap trapper turn smack rapper Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper How much money does it cost to change something? Tons No, no amount of money Tons no. How much power does Tons. it cost to change yeah. Combination Because, alright the, the, the way the way this this system works, the more people you are in control of, the more money the government gives you. So if the people can decide on something and say, hey, yeah. we're not going to support you. We know what you want. Yeah. You want to be up here in power for as long as you can. Yeah. So if we're not going to support you until you do what we say, that's our power. But and that's why the division is always yeah. being, that's why certain posts go out. That's why you see, oh, oh, oh let's, the, now, now we're divided from the police. We're divided from this. We're divided from that. We're divided from white people. Now we're divided from Indians. All this racial shit is going out on purpose yeah. so that they can sectionalize us and say, all right, who do we have that's in charge of this group? Who do we have that's in charge of this group? Who do we have that's in charge of this group? Now let's start making these promises. Let's put the right people in, in to control them. Yeah. But as long as they're divided, they all can't come together and say, we don't like this. It's a lot of money in division. A lot of money in division. All the money is yeah. in division. Absolutely. All the bread's in division. There's nothing in unity. It's like the cure. There's no money in the cure. There's yeah. money in the medicine. There's yeah. money in the sickness. Yeah. So, so, it's all divisive. Yeah. You mad at Venezuelans if, even if you've never met one. Before the Venezuelans, the hot word was the Mexicans. Now it's coming around to the Haitians. Oh. Before them, it was the Arabs. It was the Arabs. But yeah. there's always one racial group that gets, hey, they're the on. bad guys. Check that out. Make, make yeah. sure you keep watch. But it's always but somebody. For me, it's that's not. why. That's why that shit doesn't. A handful of Arabs, they'll tell you responsible or are responsible for blowing up the the towers. Meanwhile, everybody, everybody with a turban gets hemmed up. Yeah. What What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude been living next to me for all this time. What are you doing? I get my door knocked on because my name is out of it. Now somebody's knocking on my door, dead ass, middle of the night. Oh, oh what do you want? What are you doing? We're looking for a Sean. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing. I'm not laughing. Dude, I damn sure wasn't laughing when it happened. And especially since now that they talking all this knock and go find and round people up. Yeah, that's, that's the crazy. exact the that's... wave they're on. My name falls right under that, Justin. You may not have that issue. I do. Mecca Rashawn absolutely does. Rashawn, yes. Mecca Rashawn absolutely hey, hey, has an you, issue. You, listen, man. So when I open the door, Mike, Michael, when I Michael open Richards the door, and I get, when I open the door, it's, <laughs> it's, protect it's, yourself? it's, it's funny until it's you. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? It's and funny I, until it's you. And I get it. No, I no, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't understand what it is to have somebody knock on your door off the strength of your name and be dead serious. Right. And you don't do shit. 
me, the the confirmed non-street nigga on the show. Me, the confirmed non confrontation. Hey, Mac, what do you mean you the non-street nigga on the show? I'm a non-street nigga. You, I'm a can't, non- you can't even keep a straight face Come saying on. that shit. I'm a non-street nigga. <laughs> That's to, not a to, straight to, face. To, to quote Vlad, his name is Gat. <laughs> Yo, that's math, man. Gat Taylor. Gat Taylor. Gat Taylor. Gat Taylor. Somebody Gat-Taylor. had to change it, it though, is. right? Gat Taylor. Gat-Taylor. Somebody Gat-Taylor. had to make a change though, right? Ain't yes. nobody make me change my name, my nigga. Yeah, Business. My, my, no. my, exactly. And right. I, I agree with you. And I listen, listen. For me, it's all a new boogeyman. That's all I hear every year. It's There's only boogeyman. one boogeyman. For no, me. it's always and that's a, who's in charge. It's always a making new these one. decisions. It's always a new one. Adding to what you were saying earlier, I'm agreeing with you. There's always some form of divisiveness because there's always somebody who's worried about somebody else. Meanwhile, the guy you're not looking at is the guy who takes the whole plate, puts one cookie on this plate, and then tells these guys, "Hey, these dudes want your cookie. Be careful." Yeah, I, it's the same play. Yeah. I'm not, I'd rather, I'd rather, me personally, I'd rather fight against Kamala when the time comes than Trump. Me, not me. I get that. Not I get me. that. And I, that, that's, she, that's. She banged the gavel on a lot of convictions, No, she bro. didn't. No, uh. she didn't. She's a prosecutor. She did her job. That's the job. Your man was calling for the death of five people in. After they were said to be he innocent. He was not even empowered to do that. But she he was. used his money. The sentiment she remains. Was. He used yeah. his money to call for the death penalty on innocent people. He used his Ran money ass. to at do that, that. At that time. After they were yeah. said to be no, innocent. No, no, let, let's, no, this was not after. Yes, it was. This was not yes, after. It was. Yes, it was. Mecca, you can't spread propaganda like that, bro. You can't. They were convicted. No, he they were this. not. Bruh. The Central Park bro, Five. Was- the Central okay. Park Five was convicted. They were vindicated later by DNA, bro. Arrested, not convicted. Hey, Again, oh man, this, this, this is this is crazy. This is crazy because if if a if a headline goes out, it depends on what you're in favor of that you're going to decide what really happened. Correct. We do good. this all the time. Yeah. If a cop shoots someone in self defense, but he's white. If Mecca sees that shit, hey, you, them niggas been doing that. There was a lot more it's all integrity, me- though, back right. in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's a lot of detail yeah. to the situation. I'm not making an excuse for somebody, look, we, we know the system is corrupt. We know these guys were made to look like they did that shit. And they didn't do that shit. That's why they were vindicated years later with DNA. You just checked it. You just found out. No, that's not what I saw. But you just checked what, it you and see? you just found out. I'll read it. And by the way, the fact that you know that is propaganda to get <laughs> you to not I, fuck with Trump, bro. bro like that's that's not what still makes the me same not fuck shit, with bro. Trump. Like, come like on, man. okay, bro, listen, listen. Oh, man. I'm not I'm not trying to convince you of of anything. You are free to do with your vote what you want to do with your vote. I'm not here to be nobody in the head. You ask me why I'm supporting somebody, I tell you. Mm-hmm. You but but there's there's this idea that our identities need to be completely wrapped up in who we vote for, which I think is trash. No, that's, no, that's, that's, no. There's this other idea that if you not with this, then automatically this other person is an angel. Because I don't fuck with Trump, it makes you sound like I think Kamala is the best thing walking. She wouldn't be my choice if I had a choice, but she's the lesser of two evils for me. And I'll leave for it. You. And I'll leave, I, I didn't ask for it to be for anybody uh, else. Understood. I didn't ask, if you want to wear the red hat, and this it's, is your it's crew, not about wearing the red hat. Or you I don't want to wear the red I hat. I tell people all the time, check the policy. That, the, he said it's going to be bloodshed if he don't become president, bro. Uh, God, here we go, <laughs> he bro. Here that. we go. Man. He said that. And, and Kamala, there's a picture of Kamala bent over. The, who, bro? Come on. Which which part of the shit is real? Like, let's he, be real, bro. He said that. I mean, his, you have the video? Can you yes, pull it up? Yes, I could. Oh, man. This you vote for crazy. Trump? Yeah, he is. You um, see the red hat? Policy. <laughs> Maga bath? That's no, the joke. <laughs> po- Policy-wise, yeah. I agree with, More with him. certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do I agree with everything? Yeah. No. But what's, what, what are the choices we have? You know who I'd love to vote for? Who? Robert F. Kennedy. But you know who's not going to win? Robert F. Kennedy. Kennedy. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 What can we do? That's a tough battle. Yeah. It's like, yo, the, the, 
Cast your vote, Lucifer or Satan. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's one of the toughest elections since I've been in the dope yeah, for real. Yeah, this one, this one yeah. of those. Yeah. You said that sound, I was like, oh, this nigga tripping. What's the sound bite? Yeah. Oh, yeah, tough to think. That's going to be the oh, least man. of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be a bloodbath. The second you turn it on, yo, son, come on, son. I was yo, different, I'm, I'm different. Uh, he I don't different. know. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he is, do. He is. You he's heard him. Very yeah, different. You do. But you, come okay. on, man. Come on. Right. You, hold, I mean, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, they, they argue. Yeah, they yeah, argue. yeah, yeah. They right. argue. No, but that's what he was saying. That's right what he was saying. It's going to be a blood war. Yeah. And that's another thing that I don't want. War. And I feel like... War is inevitable. Hmm? War is inevitable. Mm -hmm. war, war is inevitable, but for, for people... Be people it's going to always be war. People who, who may not be aligned with, with companies who, who promote um, or create products that 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 would be in their best interest to happen. Yeah. I'd rather turn to that. You dig what I'm yeah. saying? I'm 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 all for yo. You want to arm yourself? You want to protect your family? I don't got no problems with that. But for the people, it's like nah. You know how we really get the bag? Yo, go support this. Go support this. Go support this, and we yeah. all cash out. That shit's been happening. Yeah, three hundred, almost three hundred billion dollars went to. Some shit that do you know how it started? Does anyone know how it started? Yeah. What are you talking about? Does anybody about? know why why we fucking with this Ukraine? Ukraine shit? Russia anybody know? Conflict. Oh. Anybody know? Yeah. Why we're why we're taking one side over the other? Yeah. Does anybody know? Ask nope. him, ask your boy. Putin's his man. I'm not asking my boy because it didn't happen. Well, you Putin's saying my boy, and, and they, again, now it's now he's my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, wait, he's man, not your boy. You just got finished yelling at stop me over this nigga. Like, he's, I'm he's telling not your people, boy now. Go look up the policies. There's certain things that I do not want in the schools because I have kids. Yeah, and I'm for the removal of of certain propaganda. I'm I'm for that because I'm tired of having these conversations with my kids. They don't. They're too young to understand why the yeah. teacher is telling them shit that they're not really supposed to be yeah. hearing at that age. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So I make these decisions based on my children. Do you have mm -hmm. kids? Yeah, I got one kid. How old? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Formative. Yeah. yeah. Your kid I, that came, came home from school like, Dad, I learned about dicks and vaginas and being able to choose that I'm a girl today. Like, We're, we're in a different time, man. We're in a different you, time. You got to have a lot of talks earlier now than we used to when we were kids. Yeah, facts. World policy, that gender role, gender identity, like... So if not, the, the schools and government will teach them for you, for sure. And, 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 they, and they, they also push politics yeah. on the kids. Sure. Why? Why are they doing that? To indoctrinate them early. Absolutely. This is school. You're there to learn. You're there to be educated. This they, is what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, bro, I'm, even I'm, the I'm, education I'm not, I'm not system there are, there are people who will tell you that school in itself is an indoctrination. Absolutely. Yeah, off that, the rip, that, without I, the policies. I agree. Yeah. For generations now, they, they, they don't make educated people. They make factory workers. Yeah. They, right. they teach you how to stand in line. That's been a thing. That's, yeah. Right. But um, I, I miss the days where my daughter could draw a rainbow and not... And not feel like it has something to do with, you know what I'm saying? The like, agenda. Yeah, yep. but you, 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 you're not, you can't unring that bell now. That's now it's it. just a matter of how, like he said, that's inevitable. Please. And I, I get you. I don't, please don't get it fucked up. Right. I got nieces and nephews. Please don't get it yeah. fucked up. Right. I get you. You an MMA fan. Do you want to <laughs> see women keep getting bludgeoned? Bro. <laughs> Do you want to keep one, seeing one, that, bro? One, once again, once again. And I'm not. A, I'm not. A, a, no, listen, no, I'm on. not. I'm not again. I'm gonna answer the question. Scientifically, I'm gonna answer the question. There's certain reasons why this was not going on I'm before. A, I'm gonna answer the question. Right. I'm gonna answer the question. I think anybody who wants to fight anybody should be allowed to fight anybody. However, however, wait, what? we have. I said I think anybody who wants to and fight UFC? anybody and, and, and whatever, whatever, okay. whatever 
league. Okay. Uh, anybody yeah, who wants to fight. Big say in the league. Yeah, any, it, I got a league. long list of niggas. Anybody who like. wants to fight anybody <laughs> should be allowed to fight anybody. However, I, yeah. we have weight classes for, for a reason. reason. We have levels for a reason. For, reason, for yeah. lack of a better way to explain it, there are belts for a reason. reason yeah. You don't put a yellow belt in with a coral belt. You don't do that. You dig what I'm saying? Right. The, the, the people understand that this is unreasonable. This doesn't make any sense. This is not real competition. This this won't work. But but we in the have process, rules for a reason. No eye gouges. No can't kick him in the balls. Can't right. hit him in the back of the head. Yeah, yeah. With that said. But they're loose ends. No, no, no. What, they're no, loose ends let me, that let me, allow things let me finish that we let did me not finish intend. Let me, I'm all for giving rights to whoever. You, bro, listen, let, me, everyone, let me land. I got you. Everyone I got should you. feel comfortable with what, what they, how they want to live. What, However, what we, what the did loose we say ends earlier? kind of fuck us what up. Did we say, what did we say before, Gap, when we were talking about AI? What did I tell you? The technology, the rules, and the technology never catch up. Mm -hmm. the, the technology hits first, and yeah. then the laws have to catch up to match After, the technology. Right, yep. it's, that's how it always is. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing here. When something new is introduced, the laws have to catch up. What I'm saying is, to the people who are in control and making the laws, hurry the fuck up. Hurry the fuck up before somebody gets killed. Let's not have somebody have to get killed that before may be the law. That though. But I, I don't want it to yeah. be the catalyst because we're talking about a blood sport where grown men who are equal in strength, size, and skill die. Yeah. Somebody dies because yeah. the law didn't catch up. That's why no punches in the back of the head. Yeah. Can't I? We trying to keep and people still. Somebody yeah. still dies. So how about you? How about you? Hurry the fuck up and let's not have somebody dead as the catalyst for this rule. Now that's my answer to that question. I mm. completely agree with right. you. hundred percent. I'm not. It's not okay. If you're taking that risk, if you want, but dude. I don't know many women who are signing up to fight men. I, I, I've never seen. I don't. There's women I don't out see here that I think they could kick it, our ass. But it's not necessarily though. that. It's more like um, people deciding I'm going to change to this, and then they're taking the opportunity. I'm talking about the other side. I'm talking but, about but, the other side. But that's what I'm fight. saying. There's loose yeah. ends that we haven't figured out. The but these loose ends are up. being abused because people want to to cater to to a certain demographic. And they're, say, and they're not closing those holes. I, and those say holes the same, are, I say the same way you got weight classes, make that a class. Why? Make, make, because, because now you're discriminating, man. Because they, no. They, they, but now you're discriminating, man. In, 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 in fighting. Wait, 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 wait. Now you're discriminating. In fighting, you're in not fighting, respecting the fact that this person chose fighting, this pronoun. Women don't, women don't fight women. Men don't. I mean, women fight women. Men fight men. But you can't do it in a weight class. You can't do it out of your weight class. I'm going to say it again. If she's too heavy and she's too light, they're not going to fight. So how about we now just- Now we got a lawsuit. Now we got then, a lawsuit. We're not respecting the fact that this person that, chose that like, pronoun again, and they belong in this category. Again, the rules have to catch up. I'm not, I'm not saying it's But the perfect. rules are not going to catch up as long as we- No, the law is definitely going to catch no, up. No, no, it listen, no. Does. Listen to what I'm saying. The, we're not in that time no more. I, no, we're we're, just, we, we are in a time- We haven't caught it yet. We are in a time where- if I cater to these people, I get this amount of votes, then I'm catering. Against the, the, the damage that's being done, oh, we could just we could just ignore it yeah. publicly until an election comes around comes around. Well, what you know I, what I'm saying? What I think you're overlooking is the people who own these companies don't want their brand fucked up and damaged because somebody died in the shit. You lose sponsorship money. The government's not sponsoring UFC or PFL. This man let fucking fifty wrestlers do nothing. He Say it again. Fist McMahon let fifty wrestlers die Owen in Hall. twenty-five years. Oh, oh no, you, you, you need more than you need it was more a lot of them. Yeah, but some of them didn't die in the ring. A lot of them drugs, drug abuse, drug abuse. Out. But the same right. thing happens in the NFL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now it's like what's what's that shit they be having? Cardiac arrest? The NFL and the NBA. Yeah. Now CTE is the big thing in the, in the yeah. NFL. That's still a thing. Is, is it the performance enhancers or the addiction to 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 pain painkillers could be that too. Flip a coin. Combination. Flip a coin. But if if the company stops making money off the strength of it, then they'll make switches. Because for them, the, the dollar's the bottom line. Yeah. If they stop making money, if people go, oh, what the fuck are you doing? If 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 CTE becomes more than just a catchphrase or something that a few doctors are throwing out, then they'll make, they'll make adjustments. adjustments. 
Yeah. Oh, 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 we're a sponsor. How many mother? Whoa! No, no, Ooh, shit! Nope, nope, nope. Get the money. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Mm. Ain't fucking with that. That's how that always works. It's mm. always the, it's always the lack of dough is the catalyst for change. What I don't want is the lack of dough to come from somebody dying or being beaten to a coma or being beat blind or being you know beat crippled permanently maimed. And that needs okay. Now we're pulling our dollars out. Like how about yeah. we just. For well, once, well, I think get thing, ahead of it. The thing that we're lacking is someone who's going to unify this country, label us all Americans, find our, uh, the, the the ideals that, that that we all share like sh share a view on. There's no money in unification, and, and stop dividing. That that country not... was founded on violence. There's no money in unification. You can argue even today as African American. We aren't classified as Americans. We are a subgroup of Americans, mm. Native Americans, subgroup of, of Americans. Yeah, there'll so, never be unity. Mm. There's too much money being made on the arbitrage of the lower class and subclasses for the elite. Well, there'll never be unification, which, which is uh, it's impossible. It's mad, even when people ask about reparations, it's like it's good in theory. If reparations were given to everyone who should be in America, it will bankrupt the fucking world. 37 trillion. 37 trillion. We couldn't fucking withstand COVID <laughs> for four months. You think JP Morgan, shout out to y'all, love y'all dearly. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> be clear, Bank of America, can afford to deposit all that money to us and the stimulus checks fucked us up? No, it'll never happen. Yeah. All that shit's an illusion to keep us fighting. Well, we got an expert in a billion, uh, in the building today, um, yeah, th there were a couple of questions that I that I asked you about, but uh, you've been uh, ranked as one of the the greatest investors of our time. Is that Excellent, yeah? Is that correct? I humbly will say yes. Humbly, I don't know many uh, people that have helped as many of our people in investing, so I, I'm honored to be called that. Well, I'm, we're honored to have you on the show. We got Thank Ian Dunlap. I appreciate y'all. I fuck with y'all. It's an honor. Love the show. Nah, Love y'all. Proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, now, um, you know, investments. So we started uh, with an argument. Not classic. Yeah, no, no, no. no that's that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah. niggas actually having this same argument yeah. right now. Yes, as the, as they should. The as they should. Mm -hmm. As they should. Because I believe, I, I'm, I'll say what I said on Mechanism Monday. I think at the end of the day, I have to believe that this dude right here wants what's good for him and me, right? Yeah. And he has to believe that no matter where I'm coming from, I don't want to see nothing bad happen to y'all. Right. You dig? I don't really want to see nothing bad happen to nobody. But if, if we circle in the wagons, I'm down to circle the wagons. So no matter how much I yell and go back and forth, Yo, how can you be in there arguing? Because we all so trying to get still. to one yeah. place. Right. We all trying to get to as misguided as I may think he is, as, as misinformed as he may <laughs> think I am. We all trying at the end of the day, all trying to get to one place. He got kids. Yeah. I know he wants a world where the kids can it's go out. Environment. Yeah. I don't have kids. He got to know, I want a world where I can feel safe having them kids, right. and let them go outside. So we yeah. all got to try and figure, everybody's trying to figure out how to get to that spot. Yeah. If, if I thought it was malicious, if I thought he was just a stark raving idiot, yeah. I couldn't fuck with him. Likewise, if I thought <laughs> Mac was just a racist <laughs> moron, I just, you, know, <laughs> I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't believe that. Much I believe like, that much we're like all, his candidate. We're all... <laughs> <laughs> Why you keep calling on my candidate, bro? Because you're the only one who advocates. For I would him again. love to vote for Robert F. Kennedy. I would like to vote for Bernie Sanders but if I could. I would are vote they going to win? I, that, so no. what do we do? I would no. love to vote for Bernie. So if it was up do? to me, Bernie, who's pressing everybody to pay their ta pressing billionaires to pay their taxes, I can't be mad at that. Trying to trying to recreate the middle class. Wait, wait, wait. It is the middle class. It's been dead at least six or seven years minimum. Like if you think even with if rates come down hypothetically, right? Mm -hmm. 
seven hundred thousand dollar house will now go to eight fifty. Like I've never seen cost in Houston, Atlanta, Miami, LA, fucking Colorado be this high. There are no like even cars. There are no more five hundred dollar payments. No four hundred dollar every fifteen hundred, twenty two hundred. Cool. Back in the 2200 is a fucking Bentley or some right. crazy shit. Like $500 a month got you a great car. So like with all the money that's been printed, there's like, you're either rich or poor. Hmm. People get mad at me all the time when I'm like, yo, hundred grand is no money. I'm, I was poor as fuck growing up. Like shout out to my parents, but I was broke in college, right? If you have an accident, parents get sick, go through chemo. Your medical bills would be three, four hundred thousand if you're in the hospital for two or three months. So like the gap is getting wider and wider too. And that's why like in media, there'd be a lot of bullshit be going on with the interviews and because money's tight. When people had money for in the 2020, mm-hmm. wasn't there much arguing. Everybody had designed the shit on it. Now that gap is increasing. The middle class has been dead, man. At least six or seven years. And the and the the salaries don't go up to match with the inflation. By, by design. But if I'm an owner, if I'm being honest, why would they increase the salary if when everybody got a chance to work from home, they showed their ass. So I'm going to drop the salary, make everything go up so I can control you. Going Hmm. back to no unification. If I can bring you now, Amazon just announced, now y'all got to come back in the office. You can work from home, but you'll be unemployed. Hmm. Your choice. Because when you work for someone else, and I know y'all have had these debates, right? You don't have full control over your life. There's no such thing as like true freedom. Like you got a gap in between if you make nine or 12 million, you free. But once you get to certain levels, you're always working for somebody. But if I'm paying you 150 a year, 200 a year, I'm gonna own majority of your life. That's the way America's always been. Going back to education, Rockefeller owns the American education system. since the 1920s. Like, so when you go back to the origins of American education and disbandment of what land has been taken all this is done by design for control how do we how do we find that financial freedom as a people or individually individually and as a people Um, individually you have to invest in business you have to invest in stocks like we were the first thing that was traded here (laughs) so that's the thing when like publicly traded asset yeah the first asset that was traded in this country was us. us So that's why I'm like, I hate that we don't know it, but I'm like, let me do my job to make sure that we have the information because it wasn't designed for us to have. As a people, I don't think we'll ever get financial freedom. Country can't afford it. They'll never give it to us. Um, reparations will never happen. It'll bankrupt the world. Definitely. Like, if you look right now, most companies are going through a recession and they won't announce it. A recession is two negative quarters. We've had six. They won't even say recession. Mm. They took Jack Ma from China and put him in a fucking concentration camp. And China's economy is gridlocked, which owns our debt, our financial parent. So if our parent is fucked up financially, are we okay or mm. we're good? Right. So the biggest two economies in the world are broke. And China's thinking about invading Taiwan to get Taiwan Semiconductor, which is the number one asset in the world right now. We're in a brink of a war. Money's tighter than ever, but no one wants to say it. But you have to invest in the best companies. And I tell everybody, like, are you a better entrepreneur than Elon, Tim Cook? No. Same way we're talking about Hove, Drake, Kendrick. Like, we can invest in them. That's the white version of that. We have to invest in those companies. People always ask, what do you invest in? Number one company, number one, two, two company in the world, Apple and Microsoft. If you're in music, sports, entertainment, I don't have to sell you on Apple. I think they need to improve their fucking phone. Yeah. For sure. (laughs) Definitely. But as a company, incredible. Microsoft, they own 49% of open AI. The thing that I do love about rap culture and hip hop culture teaches a lot of business lessons. Like, so open AI is 50, Microsoft is Dre. Perfect marriage. You can see the runway for the next 10 years as AI get bigger, Microsoft can benefit from that. And I think a lot of times we act like we don't know what to invest in, but we make every fucking thing hot. Right. Yo, I'm, I'm in media. Will you upload to YouTube? You invested in Google? Yeah. No. Why? Mm. Shit too hard. Like, no, nigga. Uploading that meta tags and all that shit, that's way harder to do than actually investing in the stock. So, so where did you learn the discipline? Being that you were raised 
and you know you weren't as privileged as you are now. Yeah. Where did the, the mindset come from? Like, look, I know I have to do this. I have to learn this. I have to. What were you seeing? What was making pushing my, you? My in that mom direction? and dad's work ethic, and also too, it was um, I wasn't given this. Like, I didn't know how to break into a hedge fund. So my friend who worked at a fund taught me. He called me in 2008. He like, I sold my house, my car, my couch. I'm about to buy all these stocks. I'm like, my nigga went broke. I was terrible. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, no, I'm about to buy these stocks. You buy them. I remember I was in Indianapolis watching the Colts game with, shout out to you, Brianna. Mm -hmm. Didn't buy the stocks. He called me four months later, like, yo, we gonna liquidate. I'm like, the fuck is that? Like, no, we gonna cash out. Up 700 grand. In four months. Four months. I didn't buy a fucking thing. So now I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, so you wait, wait, you up 700 grand off the, he like, you didn't buy the shit I told you? And from that day in 2008, I won't tell the number, but he hasn't worked since then in corporate. Mm -hmm. So from that moment, I was like, I'll never miss this shit again. Like while I was panicking and our parents was like, oh, it was rough for everybody. Um, I'm like, damn, this is how they get rich. We're buying everything at a discount, using our money to make more money. We think it's a gamble, but the real gamble is not doing it. Like even when I talk to Dame, I'm like, dog, if y'all would have bought this amount of Apple in 2001, dog, y'all have 13, 14 billion. He like, Lior wouldn't share that shit with us back then. Leordan was in it. Mm. That's crazy. Even all that Rock Nation, Chuck J, Ho, Big Set, but like a lot of that division that was created. I think could have been killed if you just gave equal access to venture capital, what to invest in. But if I keep you fighting, I can have a lot more control over y'all. That's why even through the iteration, they want y'all to fight. They, they want y'all to fight because they know the power y'all have. That's the part I hate. When I hit you, I'll be like, yo, stay focused. Don't give a fuck what they say. Right. Stay locked in. So right. my job and is- I just appreciate to, that. Of part. course, it's just yeah. to share the information to make it easy for us because we make every- If I ask who's hotter between- Cardi and an up and coming female, everyone knows Cardi, but then they'll tell me, well, I don't know if Bitcoin's better than Solana. Like, no, you know. If you can pick who the hottest artists are, hottest car, hottest girl, like, investing is the same thing. Mm. Buy the top three companies, same thing in the music industry. Top three labels, got a chance. If you with the bottom three, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Yeah, but having an opinion on an artist don't cost you nothing but time. Where the the stigma is that having an opinion and you got to put your money where your mouth is yeah. when you when you invest. I think we waste too much time debating about artists. Fair. I, th I think the cost of that. Is, I've seen more people who don't know Kendrick and Drake debate about Kendrick and Drake than DJ Head or TV Gucci. Like you not even in a fucking camp, right? <laughs> and y'all having these heated ass debates on if Heart Part Nine is like bro, <laughs> they, they more should. division. It's yeah. just happening to divide us. That's it. So Drake fans and Kendrick fans, you need to unify. Kendrick, you need to bring out Drake. Never, never, never gonna happen. <laughs> never gonna shout happen. out to Don. Shout out to the boy. Man. I fuck with the boy, but not. You know, hey, but my, my just, thing is like, if we need to focus on what pays us, what matters the most. Yeah, you can lose money, but then you can. It costs more not investing in the market than it does you stand on the sidelines because nobody's gonna give us freedom. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a pay raise. Business is hard as fuck. It's the one place you can put capital where we know the elite are putting capital and we can follow and trace with it. Like, we can openly see where Pelosi's trading in real time. We don't have any excuse to that. site. There's a, uh, an app for that, right? Mm -hmm. Once you see where the politicians are, are buying. That. Yeah. Well, Go to Guru that. Focus, Macro Trends. I'm going to tell, tell you how bad I was. When, when it popped up, I thought it was a, I thought it was spam. I thought it was like a, Hey, you bullshit. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. There's yeah. no way so, you can see that. So where, where, where do you see that information? Um, Guru Focus is one site. Macrotrends.net. They got uh, Politician Tracker. SenatorWatch.com. Like, because they have to report the information. Those first. don't even sound real. Senator Tracker. Track, like, that, that yeah. doesn't even sound yeah. real. But um, yeah. even on TradingView, like, they'll give you where they're looking to buy, how many shares you can see in real time, like, after they filed a report where they're looking to get out. So... Like when NVIDIA took off and I was big on NVIDIA early, when she started buying it, I'm like, oh, I know this shit going up. Like she wins 95% of her trades. Husband is a amazing hedge fund manager. So they're doing it the legal way. Mm -hmm. It may not be fair, 
but it is legal what they're doing. If this shit is public, like yeah, I didn't understand because you have to report it. That's how you said. So Martha got in trouble for not reporting it. Martha Stewart. Stewart. Yeah. Mm. So she got the information, never said anything, never reported it. Now, if Nancy's married to someone who knows the information, if they have their marriage, their share, if they report it and file it, it's okay. Uh, low key, that's why learning how to golf is so important. Why do they have to report it? Just out of curiosity, I didn't say it got nothing to do with nothing, but why? Legislation. After the crash of 1929, like the, the rules changed. So to make yeah. things more fair and more equal, transparency. Yeah, the transparency was needed to be able to like yeah. file. So the law caught going. up to the technology. No, no, eventually, the law caught up to greed. Yeah. And <laughs> the law, like, we need, even a law you need to know what you're doing. Takes a lot of money. It took a fucking fight, like the war damage collapsed in order for that kind of legislation to get ushered in. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's no surprise. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know they had to make this shit public. Yeah, you can see what Warren Buffett's investing in. Like right now, Buffett's biggest investment is Apple. Uh, he dropped a bunch of Bank of America. Used to own a lot of Coca Cola back in the day. Like you can see, literally how many millions is owned in each hedge fund. Man, like it's not like it's no. If I can go into an office and, and pick Lior's brain and like, what five artists do you think, based on your brain and the algorithm, will go? It's like picking his fucking. Well, I'm a bet on these five artists. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Like my thing is like we know everything that's hot, but then we'll get to the financial space and be like, we don't know. All right, so what, what websites are those? One more time. Guru Focus. Guru Focus. Macro Trends. Macro Trends. There's another one called Her Trade. Her Trade. And then TradingView. And TradingView. Yeah. Okay. And Senator Tracker. Is- yeah. You just go, they got a bunch of sites now where you can look up senators at, at all times to be able to see like what they're trading. And, what so, they're and, and then tune into the show, Market Mondays. I break it down so, every week. And that helps you to predict um, just based off. I'm guessing by the favors, absolutely the associations, intel that's coming, what's what's about to happen, what bills are going to be passed. Yeah. So right. even like with the Chips Act, Nvidia got really big. The White House started putting money into Intel because we need to be able to build chips here. Right. A lot of it's coming from Taiwan. Mm-hmm. What happens if China invades Taiwan? We're fucked. They become a superpower. So we got to be able to build here. But it gives you some insight on what's going into the future. My and my rule is like if BlackRock and Vanguard owns it, and it's top in their portfolio, we have to own it. You have to own it. Have to, because they are literally the companies that. Wow. Engineer. Wow. The 20, world. Twenty years ago, BlackRock was. Thirty years ago, BlackRock was not where it is. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they are. They're here. Yeah. yeah. I think 50, 51st. I think they got yeah. the on fifty first. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to y'all. I, low key, I used to work for um, Blackstone. Really? Yeah. Man, and they, they split. Yeah. yeah. The, and I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I wasn't. No. No. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't an analyst or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. But I was in the building and I, I was learning things and mm-hmm. then I went back to the street. So yeah. shit ain't help. You know? What, what <laughs> made you leave? <laughs> um, They fired me. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that'll make you leave. Yeah. yeah. Getting yeah. fired will definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 I you took my severance and I bought some work. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's, Allegedly. What's the stigma? Why, why, why are our people, aside from lack of information, and yeah. it's not easily accessible. It's not felt to be easily accessible. You just rattled off a bunch of websites. Yeah. What, what has been your experience that keeps people from getting involved in this world? Why don't people know? Uh, Because every time we've invested historically, the last hundred years, we got taken advantage of. Like I even know my grandmother, she paid on a policy insurance policy for thirty years when it was time to cash out. I think it was worth twenty two thousand. It's like eighty thousand was paid into it. So all the collusion that has happened and missed policies and bank accounts being stolen, redlining is a big thing. Like here in New York, all the property that was taken, we'll have to go back. Some of those properties are worth billions of dollars now that were taken. we haven't been treated well. Mm-hmm. So the general thought as a race is like, why put our money here if when it's time for us to get it out, it won't be there or the amount that we should have. Mm-hmm. And I totally get that. Sounds like the medical field. Sounds like the same discussion Very similar. Of doctors. Yeah, mm-hmm. very similar. Okay. The systemic racism permeates through every sector of life for us. Right. And you, it, because of this, we have a, you know, once bitten, twice shy kind of, your, your parents tell, hey, don't, don't put, put it in the mattress, don't. 
Yeah. You go fuck around and go to get it. It won't be there. You, all right now. That kind of thing. And then also the information was hidden. Like um, I started in 2008. We started the show Market Mondays in 2020. I remember when I used to go to conferences and they were asked, well, like, was I the help there? Like, it's 1960. Like, are you working here? Can you go give me something to drink? I'm like, nigga, I paid for a seat. Like, I'm about to sit here and learn. Like, what are you talking about? So it wasn't that long ago. Even 2014, nobody black was really talking about investing. Or if they did, they was gatekeeping the shit out of it. Right. I mean, they wasn't coming to teach the people about it at all. So I totally get it. And it's that's why I think what we're doing now is important. Because I know a lot of times people like you put a hip hop spin on investing. Like, no, I'm great at investing and I just love hip hop too. Mm -hmm. It's a way to get the message out. And I think that anytime we get into any field, once we have equal information, like we dominate the shit. Like I've been able to help over three, 400,000 people for free. Wow. Now there was a report that uh, I think two years ago, minorities brought in uh, more income than the, the rest of the country. Yeah. What is, is that a reflection of more more of us getting into this? Yeah, we're having market a lot more of these conversations, like getting into invest, even podcasting. Like I talked to Joe about this, like even what you guys are ushering in. People were not having conversations on how to break into media in ninety eight and ninety nine. Right. Mm -hmm. Like a lot more business conversations and geopolitical conversations are having at scale that never happened before. So that's part of the reason why women are doing incredibly well in business. Black women are killing it in business, so mm -hmm. um, we got a long fight, but I think we're doing we're doing well. Are you seeing progress? Absolutely. As as people, I mean, not individually. But. Absolutely. I think um, we got a lot of roadblocks to overcome, but for the first time in history, like the first time I heard Dow Jones, now it's talked about it. I was probably 14, 15. Okay. I know more eight-year-olds now than know, whether it's crypto, NFT, like they know some form of yeah. investing. Right. They'll mm -hmm. flip the V bucks on Fortnite. Right. I think kids are way more tuned, and I feel like the culture has like. And Fifty was a big part of it. Jay was a big part. Dame doesn't get credit, but Dame ushered in an idea of being your own boss. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're just having a lot more conversations about us having or carving out our way to be able to have financial freedom. Uh, group economics. Yeah. Something I've been reading about for like the last. Seven, eight years. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Claude Anderson, real big fan. Amazing. Talk, okay. Amazing. So I'm on the right track here. Why Why is it that we can't seem to spend our money with each other? From your, I know you don't have all the answers, but I'm curious as to what you think. See? You bought the lot. Why? <laughs> two, two reasons. Well, systemic oppression and conditioning. Okay, great. We don't trust each other. The big part That's is we don't trust each other. And then if we pile in a bunch of money, and let's say he takes the money, we all put in a hundred thousand hypothetically. He we all get a million, but he figures out how to take that one to sixty, and I have two. Oh, well, math robbed me. It's like no, he went to Tribeca and bought some shit, mm -hmm. and I fucked mine off in Miami. <laughs> it's a lot of that. that ha like I've seen a bunch of people run up money in Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, GameStop, up and down, and what do they do? Go, go get finessed by women. That's the other part we don't talk about. Like, there's some female wolves out here that are hunting people that have money that are new to it. Mm -hmm. Everybody who was popping in 21, 22, I was like, damn, you, that, yeah, man. that uh, shit fell off fast. <laughs> that money is going Invest in a ring, ring camera. <laughs> that ain't gonna help. Nah, it's gonna help. It, it helped one Isn't of my friends actually. Well, Even the lost. Excuse me. Wait. It helped one of your friends. He got into a situation out here, and thirty-four videos later, and a bunch of money in lawyer fees, and it cost money. But if not, it would probably cost him three, four hundred grand. Wow. What's yeah. what's the number one finesse to look out for as a as a successful man with money? Women. <laughs> they're, they're, women. They're, nah, I want, women. I want to look at his face. They're, I mean, I, I mean, is, it, about is, it, is it a finesse if most men are leading with that? I very rarely see a man bag a woman off his own game or charisma. Mm -hmm. Nowadays. They're leading with They're going to the DM. Let me cash up you $2,500. i am going to take you here. Fair. Fair. Like, okay. What? Um, but you're supposed to be a provider. You got to provide. That's just, 
That's a swindle. That's a scam. <laughs> like everyone not, not worth being provided for. It's not a swindle. It who, depends. Who, who doesn't want that? If they can get it, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. But you have to be disciplined enough as a man to say, why are you providing for a chick that you just met off Instagram more than you doing your own mother? Right. Right. That makes no fucking sense. I don't know. I don't know what they do. You got to bring something back. Got to yeah. bring something. But now we're in the conversation of what do you bring to the table, which I'm from go, what I'm I can go, see, go manage women, your OnlyFans. Women, women seem to hate <laughs> that conversation. What do you bring to the table? I think, when, well, there's two parts to it. It's a great question, but if you have to ask, you know she's not bringing nothing to the table. We've all met great women who we knew, whether we fucked it up or not, mm -hmm. we knew what she was bringing. Mm -hmm. We know. But there's some men that want to pay all the bills. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing, yeah, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing there's wrong some, with it. But when you're paying the some, bills for someone who, like, there's, there's got to be an equal exchange. I know why I want to take care of you. Yeah. Not, I'm taking care of you, so maybe one day you could think I'm the... Yeah, nah, yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not the way. It's not the, way. the, the yeah. worst thing I saw... You don't pay for the car before you get it. A mm -hmm. clip not too long ago, a woman... A husband ran down on his wife and was like, yo, how come I just found a bank account where you got 30 grand stashed away? Right. The rainy day fund. Or and she said, no, that's my money. Like, that's in a whole... They didn't have... It wasn't a joint account. She was literally taking bread from him and just stashing it someplace. Right. But she's like, if I get divorced, if we get divorced, I need to be taken care of. But she, I remember that story and that doctrine came from her moms who a was lot of single. Women that. Yeah. And her mom's like, you better put something away because you can't. Now, just the fact that she's introducing the idea of failure right. into their marriage, and and she's planning for the failure. She's gonna you're kind of cause it. Yeah, you're manifesting it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, she's gonna cause it. If I couldn't trust my, if you can't trust, you stashing bread on me. What? What if he's not managing the money right? Say again. What if he's not managing the money right? And the other part is. of it that, that we don't talk about is. What happens when we fuck up the household and they have to make that other account because we're not doing what the fuck we're supposed to do? Mm -hmm. mm. Niggas will talk all that like women should follow shit. You don't lead you well. Mm. That's the other kind. Like it's hard to have because men don't want to hear it. But it's like, bro, a lot of times you're not leading shit properly. Right. Mm -hmm. My first thought when I saw that, like the thirty, you should have enough money where the thirty don't bother you. Mm. Not many people want to have a conversation, mm -hmm. especially for the time. If you live in New York, Jersey, the thirty gonna go be gone for in three months. Yep. Mm -hmm. Move our ass over to Weehawk and it's over with. What Shit, you gonna do? You rent five thousand. Yeah, a month. you get you a good little view, Edgewater. Yeah. It's over with in three, four months. And we ain't even talk about bills yet. See, that's just rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, my, I guess the next thing I would want to say is. Help me, nigga. <laughs> help me. Yeah. What you need help with? <laughs> help me. <laughs> still, still a trust factor. Help me. We'll rotate back around. No, no. It, it's, help a us. it's a trust factor for why we don't do group economics, and we haven't had many examples. Like I think one of the biggest things in our era that hurt partnership idea was Dame and Jay breaking up. We could, mm. I mean, when that shit happened, that's, I'm from the Midwest, that so I can only really imagine how y'all that shit. Right. Hurt me to see them fight yeah, like that. It, oh, yeah, nah. It, yeah, that hurt it's my like, feelings. wait, what? Y'all breaking up? Like, and then Cam and Jim, shot the gym, fuck with Jim. Like, seeing these, but is that happening because we can't get along or the labels are incentivizing motherfuckers not to get along? Hmm. Two things can be true at the same time. I agree. Especially if, especially if two partners decide they're growing in different directions. Who put the bug in your ear that you're growing apart? That's the other like. Did, did, there, okay, there, there's a well, lot of ways. It's layers. It. There's yeah. layers. It's egos. Yeah. There's, there's it's combination. I think that's, that's, that's the main say. thing right there, though. The yeah. egos. Did it? Did did they have to put a bug in your ear to see that you're growing apart? If your man is loud and you quiet, mm -hmm. if your man wants to party and you want to stay home, if he wants to spend and you want to save, yeah. All right. Well, as long as your shit don't affect my shit, we cool. But if your shit starts to affect my shit, yeah, we not. And if the guy who's loud wants to party and wants to spend is actually doing it right, what if all those things are spurring on the business and bringing more shit in and the dude who's quiet is actually hurting the situation because yeah. you're not showing it. We got to show. You're not doing it. Yeah. You think what I'm saying? But even in that situation, somebody can come over and go, you know, if he keeps spending like this, 
it's yeah. gonna fuck y'all up. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Or yeah. or making these decisions without telling you. Right. It's gonna fuck y'all up. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't, if you, if I didn't rotate back around to my homeboy and go, yo, you know, homeboy just tried to pull me to the side and say, yeah. yo, if you keep spinning, we're gonna fuck us up. Yo, bro, we gotta, we, yeah. all right, let's figure out what we gonna, yeah. Cause this ain't a good look. In that situation, moms who's telling her daughter, hey, put this away, do this, cause if he fuck, wifey needed to pull around and go, yo, you know, she ain't got, she over here telling me to do X, Y, Z. Is there something I need? Yeah. To? And if you married to her, you need to be able to say, babe, here's everything. This is what I got. This Gotta is what I'm doing. conversations, man. I ain't about to do all that. I read a lot of books. No, 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 that's no, no, not no, no, thing. Everything is tough, but you do need to have a meeting every week to like. It's your wife, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm not I, talking about shorty or or like you, the girl who jumps off. Or, I'm not talking. I'm talking about your wife. She bringing what bread. state they in? They, I think all those are a factor. You got to factor what state. If but, you mar yeah. but you yeah, married. But you married her. Yeah, yeah. You got to have a conversation. I don't think we have enough of those critical conversations until it's war. Right. Like, like we got to have them way before that. And it doesn't mean it doesn't happen in other communities, but like. OpenAI was Elon's idea. Sam Altman was involved in it. Sam ran off on Elon. This hmm. company worth billions of dollars. They still do business. They Over, still do business. Still do business to this day. Right. Now, Elon, don't get me wrong, he a warlord. He gonna get his revenge, mm -hmm. but they're finding ways to still do business to make up for what's owed. We don't see these huge breakup spill out for 25 years in the public eye mm -hmm. with other races how we do ours right y'all break up joe i'm like who the fuck is writing these articles about y'all break up like this every month mm -hmm. they're pressing out for fucking free somebody had to say no nah, let's attack at this. this time getting too motherfucking hot let me put some pressure so my thing is like we have to unify but until then individually we have to run it up but i'm here to help you investing in apple google microsoft I was. Why you I get out? Know. I put um I don't okay. want to say this on camera, but I had to pull out. Got you. Pause. Yeah. We Five kids. Out. You learn to do that after a while. Five kids. <laughs> you a warrior, yo. I don't know how you how you manage all that. Uh it's tough, bro. Because it's not just five personalities. It's you know what I mean? It's a lot more than that. It's yeah. the families, it's the other sides, the mothers, whatever. Like I have to balance this ecosystem. Yeah. And sometimes something gets out of whack. Yeah. And I have to control my emotions and how I feel about it so and that I can go, keep yeah, everything yeah. else in balance. And it becomes an overload till eventually I just run to Miami and just disappear for two weeks. I ain't mad at that. Look, getaway <laughs> always good. In fact. You gotta recharge. Right. You gotta re it's good for the soul, man. You gotta recharge. In fact, you ain't been there yet, bro. <laughs> you ain't been there yet. No, I've gotta... been to Miami plenty of times. I know you're not supposed I, I, to run off when yeah, you I'll be on the beach to... praying, nigga. Yeah, like, for real. God, help me. Help the time me, of the God. sun is saying helps a lot, y'all. Right. Yeah. But right. that's one of the top two companies. For any creator, anybody in creative arts, Apple, Microsoft, man. Apple, Microsoft. Because uh, podcast was created by Apple, the term iPodcast. Ha, huh, look at that. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like they use the music industry and black creativity to build up the company. Why not give no equity out to us? Mm, that's everything. Yeah. So, all right. So we're going to take a five minute break. But when we come back, can you give us, based on the two presidential candidates yeah. that we have right now, where you see the, the economy going and what would be the best decisions to make depending on who wins, wins this election? Five minute break. Okay, we're back. Um, I wanted to do this for you know. I don't know who's in the views, but I know a lot of people are, are falling on hard times. And if there's something that I can do to improve your lives, there's something that we can do. Something that Ian has been about from day one. Yeah. Um, for the families that are making less than seventy five thousand dollars a year. Yep. Uh, what are Which five gang, steps, right? Yes, what are five steps that they can take that will improve their, their living conditions within a year? And, and why? Half. Okay, why? Uh, number one. I'm following with the camera. Appreciate y'all. Number one. Percentage you can invest. You're not going to get a raise. 
Your boss isn't going to pay you what you're worth. So you got to put your money into the best companies on earth. When I ask everybody what phone they have, they usually have one of these. iPhone. Then I, everybody here got iPhone pretty much. Everybody right? here got an iPhone? Yes, then sir. I'll ask what percentage of people are investing in Apple. It's usually 20% mm, wow. or less. Apple did 25% last year. Easiest company to invest in. Uh, and number two. 10 things you can cut. Mm. Now I'm going to talk to the fellas. I know y'all say y'all have no money to invest, and but if Bernice hop on you and tell you y'all want to go to Jamaica, y'all find a fucking way to take Bernice to it. Shout out to Bernice. Keep yeah, that's my mother that's name, me. by the way, right? too. Shout out to but Bernice. But men will find a way <laughs> to go to a beach and fuck something and then have no money to put away. Right. And a lot of y'all be creeping. Why not taking care of the kids? We're just here to keep it real. Number three. Invest in the top two. Put ego aside. I always ask, are you a better CEO than Elon, Tim Cook, <clears throat> Sam Altman? If not, you got to put your money into one of these. Don't ask me about the 55th best company in the world. Invest in the top two. The Num top two, which are? Can you write it on the side? Yep. As of right now, Apple. Oh, Microsoft. Microsoft. Conglomerate. Now, if you're a creator, I'll give you Google because they own YouTube and then NVIDIA on the chip side. So these are four you can pick from. Apple, Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA. I, I, I noticed uh, you, you didn't put um, any gambling apps <laughs> up there. That's not... They don't get better returns than these. Okay. They, they don't make more money. And also think like, so in investing, this is really key. Profit margin. So the thing that makes NVIDIA amazing, trillion dollar company, guess what their profit margin is? Um, 480%. 48%. Oh, 48%. Oh, 48%. Oh, 48%. Right. So for every hundred bucks that comes in, they're keeping 48 of it. Nike, 11%. That CEO needs to be fired. I don't know how he fucked up Nike in two years. Right. But like, Look at profit margin in a business. You can go to Walmart. I'll write this up here. And it'll tell you what the profit margins are for each company. Walmart? Yep, Walmart.com. It's free. And number five, hold for, I'm going to do dog pound style, the long term. Biggest mistake. And notice this, and I know you all will be able to relate to it. Whether it's sports, investing, music, no label holds an artist for two months and lets him go. Regardless of what the Cowboys are doing, Jerry Bush is not fucking letting go. Excuse me, the Lakers, Jerry Bush not letting him go. Jerry at Dallas is not holding on to the Cowboys for two years. We're the only community where they tell us, do this for a month or two and then try and get rich. When all the real money is in holding long term, and you can make a lot of money in the short term, but you don't want to put yourself in a place where you're gambling. Right. So and once you get like 20, 30%, take some profit, not all of it, and let it run for the long term. Because we keep trying to hustle our way to the top. We got to own this shit for the long for the long term. What's the long term? Five in years, 10 years minimum. Okay. Five to 10 years minimum. Let's be real. How long have you been on Instagram? Shit, probably a little after, it, after they created it. How long have you been on Instagram? 20... Ooh, what was that? Grand was 18? Years How long ago? you been on the gram? Uh, well over a decade. But Instagram ain't a, a, like two decades old, though. I think it's 2013 when it started? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were about to say 20 years ago. Yeah. No, 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 we gotta like we know what we using all the shit we need to buy. Dog, the OnlyFans creator is up one point five billion. I know a bunch of bitches on OnlyFans. They ain't made that kind of money. <laughs> like let's be like we use every, but we're used for the liquidity or to make something hot. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I do love that like Steve Stout did. He got corporate America to see what our value was. Mm -hmm. We didn't buy like imagine if we could have bought into AI or Reebok. When the Iverses came, or the answers came out and shit, like we can do it now. We made IG hot, 
Twitter got hot. All like, of them. All of them. TikTok. TikTok. But we won't invest in the platforms that we're using. Right. Why? Fear. Way easier. Like or lack you, of knowledge. Lack of knowledge of how to do it. It, it looks complicated if you don't. Like a Pro Tools. Wait, that shit y'all be putting them Rubik's Cubes together in Pro Tools? <laughs> that shit way <laughs> hard. What the fuck you talking about? Like, <laughs> this ain't rocket science. Buy this. No, nah, no, nah, right. like, no, nah, man. I'm just saying, it looks it complicated. It looks complicated, right. but this is why these conversations are important. When you watch one of the television, if you, you know, Sunday, and you happen to turn on ABC, you yeah. see the investment thing come on, it's numbers, it's dials, it's That's charts. That's why you watch Market Mondays. Don't watch Sunday, watch Market Mondays. And it make it a lot easier. This conversation, even I have with Joe a lot, like, the business shit that he talked about in media and what he went through with Spotify and how they got, that shit should be in Harvard. Knowing what those metrics were and how he opened up the lane for black people, it's like, dog, how are they not gonna pay you? But the caller daddy girl got one and some change and Dak Shepard got 80. Mm. It's like, bro, like what? But that comes the unity thing. Like if mm. more of us work together, we can go into a building like, no, it's 20 of us. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't tell me this shit ain't worth three, four hundred million. There's twenty of us in here. I know your numbers, your numbers, your numbers are power. Like, yo. But going back to the group economics, like it's something we should have been did a long time ago. So So what's up? How how much of how much of investing is psychological? Ninety five percent of it. Ninety five percent of it is psychological. Yeah. Why? Fear. And then also if you say that you're gonna do it. You didn't have to be accountable to do, because as black men, we don't want to say, I'm trying something because you don't want to get made fun of. Right. So, yeah. So basically, yeah. a lot a lot of people miss out on making money and yeah. achieving financial freedom because they pussy. <laughs> if you want to put it like, it's true. Okay. Because if I'm you ask y'all niggas know, y'all pussy. Like, if I, what's the number one <laughs> streaming app in the world? Say it again. Number one streaming app in the world. Apple. Streaming right. app. Streaming uh, app. Oh, shit. Just because I want to give an answer, I can't. I'm not. Is it on my phone? Uh, what and I chill? I learned from the Buckshot mm -hmm. episode. On what and chill? Netflix. Thank Netflix you. Netflix and chill. Christ ne on a crack. Number one phone in the world. Netflix. iPhone. Number one electronic vehicle. Tesla. 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 You don't know how to invest? Do you know what's hot? Like, that's what y'all put, put together. Right. Putting up all these cameras and shit. This shit ain't cheap. Like, right. you... Y'all got some quality shit in here. You buy top of the line, hold for a long period of time. And then when we got into podcasting, all the Black Magic prices went up. Sony Alpha prices went up. Like, I watched this shit in like 2020. We weren't in it. Now, Rode didn't went up in valuation. DJI didn't went up. Sony didn't went up. Like, come on. It's and we're arguing, was Drake's verse in Pat? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? That's my dog, but it's like, nigga, he went crazy on that triple disc tracking. <laughs> But Kendrick got, I'm like, bro, yeah. oh. DJI and Sony have won up three X since 2020 in podcasting. Mm. We can walk and chew gum at the same time, y'all. Have these debates, but go go watch yes, Market man. Mondays and get go it popular. Watch Market Mondays. Nothing wrong money. with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Um, What's the thing you need help with most? And don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say women either. Taxes. You got a good accountant? No. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm in the process of swapping somebody out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a pain. Yeah. And and that's that's what creates the insecurity. Yeah. Because you believe, and then someone leads you in the wrong direction, and you're like, ah, damn, like, yeah. Is that why like, they don't who, teach taxes in high school? If it's their system, why would I teach you when I can make more money off you not knowing? That's why they don't teach taxes in high school. Or investing, or right. Any health, or things. how to build a family. Like We're one of the last few communities that don't know how to build family structure when, I argue, 50 years ago we did. When they start kicking the black men out the house for financial incentive, that was done by design. Like yeah. Even when I went to yeah. child support court, Shout to my son's mom, love you dealer. You need everything to me. <laughs> yeah. Dog, her, the, my lawyer and her lawyer went on vacation after our case. Even she was like, what the? It's like, you paid this, I paid that. These motherfuckers going. He was like, yeah, if, if child support and family law was one company, it'd be the fifth biggest company in the world. But it's done state by state. 
Shit's done by design. Like right. our destruction in every area, funerals, births, even the rate of black women dying and giving childbirth or having C-sections, like, because you make more money for the C-section. They're monetizing us as soon as we come into the world, as soon as we go out. That's the other Blue Lives Matter in the hospital, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We talk about the hospital crowd. Oh, yeah. There's some shit that yeah. goes on. I, um, have a home girl who's Damn, I don't even know if I'm, I'm supposed to speak on this shit, because... Uh, yeah, just don't read run. my mind, fellas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> read my mind. Shout out to Dr. Melba Taylor, currently in Atlanta. She She's my go-to for anything yeah. medical, and she... The yeah. stories she comes back to me with yeah. as to why I shouldn't do this or go do that or don't do she's the main one. Oh, don't what well, okay, sure, you can if you want to, but this'll happen, this'll happen, this'll happen. Mm -hmm. When I had to go for the MRI when I got hurt, oh well, yeah, you know, you probably, but you know, it's gonna be like three, four grand to tell you exactly what you already know. Mm -hmm. I didn't listen because I felt like I needed to hear it. Yeah. But I knew it that it didn't fix anything. It just was literally a, a picture of a the inside of my bones. To oh, okay, one, two, uh, but I, okay. Well, now, what what are you gonna do now that you know exactly what? Oh, well, and then it was the exact same list of shit that I'd already been doing. Yeah, I never felt so had. I didn't feel like I got like not knowing costs a lot of money. Ignorance not, is not, not bliss. Yeah. But but the crazy thing is, there's technology out there where everyone could know. Every yeah. day, if you wanted to, but it's not promoted or allowed. There's or even allowed. people that have made cars that run off hydrogen, and all of a sudden, water fall off a mountain. And shit. Like, right. Yeah. It's, Do it's, people need to invest in um, Bitcoin and crypto. I, I like I like Bitcoin. I like Ethereum. Ethereum, XRP, Solana. Those, those are the four. What's I the like. most money you've made off of an investment? Um, percentage wise, yeah, like we we saw recently, it was a report that Meek Mill offered two hundred thousand dollar investment. Yeah, he made a kill off of lids. Oh, with lids, yeah, he made about eight million. Yeah, hats. Yeah, well, he invested in the company, right? Yeah, um, I won't say the number, but shout out to my son's mom. Look, you do anything? <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I've done thirty x a couple times. Thirty times the investment. Yeah. In in a what what span of time? Three or four years. Three four years. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Great. Thirty times. Great. 30 times. That is amazing. Yeah. Fucking great. Yeah. So let's say it was ten thousand, three hundred thousand, three four years. Yeah. Are you worried about? I hate to even put this in the air, but we kind of touched on it earlier. Are you worried for your safety, spreading this kind of information and, and, and giving this kind of thing away? Shout out to BlackRock, JP Morgan, Chase, uh, Vatican, whoever I need to call out. I've had people in, in Vanguard like look out for sure, BlackRock for sure. It's a relationship. I, like I think too many times when people think in order to spread the information, you have to destroy the system. You can't destroy while giving because you won't put a target on your people. Right. There's a reason I say Vanguard first instead of it bought me. I'm going to be honest. It just bought me protection. BlackRock brought me some protection. Hmm. Um, working with JP Morgan has brought me some protection. So you got to go. Same way like J Drake back in the day, you have to go talk to the old man in Houston. Right. <laughs> Same shit. I have to go, go to Guggenheim and go to BlackRock. And right. We want to know what your plans are. My hmm. thing is like, I just want to help us. Do I have aspirations to run a fund and all that? I think you can do both. I don't think you well, have anyone to. can benefit from this information, of course. And they make the money off of it. I don't make the money if you buy a Vanguard. They get the override. Right. I've never got a kickback or anything from anybody. But but knowing there is money in our division, yeah. you're basically promoting unity. I'm you're promoting unity into their banking system. Right. Okay. No different than if I go to Mexico and I'll say, hey, I got some friends who need... I don't need to cut anything, but I'm gonna bring sixty people to you. Y'all figure it out. Mm -hmm. My hands are clean. Right. The okay. trouble comes when I say I want to now supply you. Mm. Mm. Hefe don't like that. Mm. Hefe don't like. Shout to Samuel. <laughs> it is. You got yeah. the rules are the same. 
because all the rules from banking and hedge funds come from their old country anyway. Okay. You got to know how to play inside the rules. And and there, there are a couple of times, you know, people people telling you to challenge things, but, you know, you, lead, you read strategy books, you lead, read books about war, yeah. even 48 Laws of Power, it, it advises you to be mindful of who's in power and how much... How what much you want to really you? shake up the nest? Tupac told you, yeah, you got to get your money right if you want war. You don't have that war chest for them. It's mm -hmm. cool to say, why don't you call out, like a dude told me two weeks, why don't you call out the Bilderberg group? Shout the Bill and Berg. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> right. They're too powerful. Like, no. And die for what? For your mm -hmm. entertainment? Mm -hmm. I right. see rappers get killed all the time that people say they love you. Y'all don't send a fucking thing to their mom after they die. Right. Mm -hmm. No. And those power structures are gonna remain regardless. I'm just here to do my job for us and help us get a bag. Cause I know in the grand scheme of things, like the world isn't gonna change that for us. So it that being the case, all things considered. Yeah. And there's money in our division, but you're helping this specific help or working with, I'll, yeah. I'll say better. You're working with this specific system. How is it, if that's the case and they still make a profit, who's profiting from keeping the information from us? The same system that I'm pouring into. They profit from us being ignorant. Yeah. But they also profit if, we, if we're if we on and we're popping and we're working with them. Well, Nick, Nick, on, let me ask the question, get out of here. No, it's a question. great question. <laughs> I'm just saying. But would you let me... <laughs> All right, all right, <laughs> okay, so, so we all upload content to YouTube, Thanks. right? Has the CEO of YouTube ever called you and told you how to hack the algorithm? No. Not at all. It's the same fucking game. Okay. That's why we are talking, trying to figure it out, and now you can't curse in the first two minutes, and now they mm -hmm. want this kind of... They don't... You can go to YouTube, their, their university and their academy. It doesn't give you everything you need to excel. Right. You got to figure it out. You have to figure it out. Okay. 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 It's a conundrum. Can you fight the system while still feeding into it? As long as we recognize that it's a conundrum and I'm not crazy. Yeah. No, no. But it's it's the toughest thing to do. Like, people who were in the banking industry who went against the banking industry got their careers ended. Mm -hmm. who were in the crypto early were big enthusiasts in the crypto nipsey was the first black person i ever heard talk about crypto hmm. i won't get into that because i don't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was too ahead of his time fair talk to black sam family you know what i mean and with right. that said you're not concerned for your own safety not mm -hmm. the, no because i pour right into vanguard I right into, and plus i move honorably okay that's the other part that people don't talk about. A lot of people who have a lot of these issues don't move with integrity. I tell you, like, even when I met Joe, the first thing I said, you know, I just fuck with you as a fan. Let me help you invest. If the shit don't work, hit go and check, write out whatever you lose. Honorable. A lot of times, people be doing fuck shit behind the scenes, and y'all got to be quiet about it. Well, you really getting chased down 125th because you owe 220. Mm -hmm. be a lot of that shit going on you lost a lot of people if I made you money put yes in chat I'm the only motherfucker I know to say that and it's probably go crazy one you gotta move on and I never charge them people like most of the people who made money off of me did it for market money for free they're like yo you charge too much I'm like they're gonna show free <laughs> who care what I charge for stock club tune in every week mm -hmm. right learn what you can learn out of that yeah mm. so Okay. You got you to pour into the empire to not get killed by the empire. Fair enough. Speaking of the empire, uh, in the past, say, five, six years, there's been a lot of financial guys who are of the culture. Uh, a lot? Yeah, popping up. A lot. Okay. Is it, when like you say... four. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't I say mean, a lot. I mean, we've never seen them before. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, a couple of you guys tried to work together. What what caused the the split? It'd be ego. Ego. What causes yeah people not to work together? Cause and and the root of it, 
always with black men is women and who gets credit. It's never about, even in a podcast space, that should be about ego. People will say that their value is this. Like, what return are you bringing? I hear you. Say it again? What, what return, return is being bringing? brought? Right, right, right. right. Right, so when people are talking partnerships and things don't work out, it usually doesn't work out over ego. Like we've had TV situations that could have been offered, but eight people wouldn't work together. I had an idea for like an investing version of the view. Motherfuckers didn't want, or who get EP credit? Well, clearly me, it's my idea, but you can go EP. No, what? Okay, what can you do? Yeah, it happens. It Sad. happens. That's unfortunate. But all I'll say this, all the ones that are good all get along. All the ones who were not doing this prior to COVID. You know. They all get along. Yeah, everybody who good get along. Mm. Yeah. So. Well, that counts. Yeah. That counts. That yeah. that's gotta count for something. Yeah. All right. Still on the topic of division. Right now the country is divided. Mm-hmm. On this choice that we we have to make in a, in a very short time, yeah. On who is going to run this country for the next four years? I I don't I don't want to say mm, I don't want you trouble. to say who you're endorsing. <laughs> I don't want you to say who you're endorsing, but I yeah. do want you to explain, yeah, from your 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 understanding, your wisdom, where economically you see both sides going. Um. Let's it's going start. to be tough regardless, but let's start with come. I'll tell you what stocks would do well under each presidency. Um, I've had the chance to go to the White House, had a chance to meet some people. I'll say that. Visa will do incredibly well. Mm -hmm. Uber is going to do incredibly well. American Express, especially if American debt keeps going up, Visa and American Express are going to benefit from that dramatically. Microsoft mm -hmm. and NVIDIA, they'll do incredibly well underneath her watch. Um, this is Kamala Harris. Yes. Kamala. Under, under Trump, I think housing would do, housing stocks would do pretty good. Microsoft will still do well. NVIDIA will do well. It's going to be a lot tougher on banks. And I'm very afraid about the possibility of black companies being able to go public if he's in office. That would be like almost non-existent. Hmm. Freedom Fund has been attacked, shout to Arian, but I think that cabinet won't allow our matriculation up to the IPO space. So I will, which one, which economy will be better? I'm going to be real on both sides. It's going to be tough, bro. It's going to be tough. We, we had zero interest rates for 12 years. We had money being printed in COVID. The country's broken. Nobody wants to say it. The first time in history, y'all are in the city that make the decisions. They won't say recession. They treat that shit like candy man. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you won't even announce, they after two quarters, they revise it. And even in the jobs market, 900,000 jobs are misreported. So if the number you're telling is 900,000, what's the real fucking number? Right. 1.3? I don't know nobody who can easily get a job right now. Yeah, it's a, it's it's getting a little scary. It's tough. Well, not a, not a job that gives you any kind of quality of life. You can't afford anything with one gig. It's tough. That's not a thing. I know people with diplomas and degrees that can't find a good job. Yeah, it's tough. Again, not one not one that you can live sustain yourself yeah, off of. Yeah, it's not it's not enough. What what's that company? I always mess them up. The Waltons. What are they? Walmart. Where the employees work there like full time, but still qualify for like basically welfare, like yeah. assistance. Part of it's because of inflation. But like if NVIDIA, AMD, Samsung, Meta are all putting all this money into AI, is that because the job market is going to go up or they're trying to find a way to replace the people that can't fill them? They want to use the technology. You use ChatGPT? Yes. It's better than an employee, right? We can be honest. Chat GPT is way more efficient than what you got to pay on payroll mm -hmm. for a person. Does not complain, does not get sick, does not cost that much per month. Like the, the compute is way higher than what you would pay for an employee. So if we have that available in our private version, 
What do you think they have on the enterprise side? Right. Yeah. You go in the stores now, you see the the robots. Yeah. The, all the stores now. And the sushi place. The booths, like, like when you're yeah, going down yeah. south yeah. and all of that, there's nobody in the booths no more. Yeah. Right. Take a picture of your, your license plate, send it right to the crib. Yeah. There used to be people in the booth. Pay that, keep it pushing. It's Boom. no no longer. No time. And now we've seen the self driving um delivery vehicles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Which is wild. yeah, you got the immigrant issue, and then you got the mm-hmm. fentanyl crisis. They're That's just part taking of the jobs for people. China war on us. It's a lot of real shit going on. Oh yeah. At one time, you, you predict predict a mass migration. Did I predict it? Do you? What are you predicting? I don't, I don't think we'll, we'll we should leave, but we won't. But I do think everybody needs to get a backup place to live. For sure. Like I've been on that for. At least three years. Get some land. You have to be able to go somewhere else. Yeah. Well, country? Mexico, country? Another country. Yeah. Have to. Have does, to. Does Canada count? It depends on if you like Kendrick or Drake. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pricey as hell. Ah, good luck, Mac. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't going Yo, that was funny as shit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not. You don't good. like Drake? I do. Oh. You like Kendrick more? Uh, I wasn't attuned to this one. Oh, Yo. you didn't know. Oh, you oh, haven't seen? Shout to OVO. Oh, shout seen? to the boy, TV Gucci. <laughs> let me get my... What? <laughs> I'm a, let me call DJ Head. I got Listen, I, I told people a long time Head ago, don't my, pick sides. My that's my dog. Yeah. That's my guy. Good dude. Yeah, good yeah, dude. real good dude. Yeah, shout out to DJ Head. Yeah. Good dude. Don't Man, pick sides. Just be times. entertained. Don't pick sides. Nah, it... it, it, it again... I don't know why I don't know why there's this much division in it, but I mean the fact is Kendrick raps one way, Drake raps another way. Kendrick raps for one audience, Drake raps for one audience, and in any given moment, anybody can be in either audience. You can have headphone music when you're in the house. You can have stuff that you like in the club, yeah. stuff that you like in the car. Everybody has something suitable. Me personally, I don't do a lot of clubs, so I like headphone music. I like something that's saying something, and I'm listening and paying attention. But Keep making me wave my hands, making me dance. There won't be no I'm threat. Call you back. Yo, you Mac, say. you ain't never Harlem Shake? No. <laughs> never Millie Rock? No. But you my should first, be a b-boy, though. But my first element was b-boying. Yeah, you broke dance. Yeah, before. Dan- yeah. Break dan- breaking was my first Ever element. Ever pop lock like rerun? No, that's before. That was right. Bef- people do it, but that was right. I don't know why. I'm you ever got on the floor and did the snake pause? Did the snake? No. But I, I my backspin was crazy. Gotcha. And my windmill was... I was getting there. I, I was. I couldn't. I couldn't. That's the same. Like it's like the same thing. A little something, though, man. No. Nah, if you if you if you know it, if you know, you know it's not it the same. Same man. Crazy legs crucify you for that. Shit. But but break, <laughs> breaking with breaking was my first element. I never got into DJing. I tried to dabble in graffiti. MCing was a good one, but element element wise, I yeah. I moved around and tried a bunch of shit. I'm a hip hop head. I'm not a rap fan. I'm a hip hop okay. head. Right. Gotcha. Huge difference. Uh, why do you want to help people? Because uh, I wasn't given the help. And then also too, like, I don't, I hate when people that are black, that grew up in our neighborhoods, like make it and then act like you don't know the hell that it took to make it out. Right. right. Like I grew up in East Chicago and then like right by Gary, when Gary's the murder capital. Yeah, like, facts. Just seeing the Chicago, like the shit y'all going through with the drill, a lot of that can be fixed if the money was flowing. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen in like two years, like people that was at war and then somebody come in and they get money together and now all of a sudden, that shit from five years ago wasn't as serious. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, it's like, bro, we got kids, like what are we fighting over? Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm just giving the help that I wish that, and even like growing up in church, I loved church at one point, but then I would go home and be like, I'm not fulfilled past the sermon. Mm. So what I do, and the, like that's my secular sermon. But I want you to have something tangible. And you're like, no, I left here. Even if you never talk to me again, you're like, he gave me these ones. Great. This worked out. It had an impact on you that you can see tangibly. And I think that's why so many of like our people in comparison to like our grandparents era have left. Mm-hmm. There isn't anything tangible that you're taking out of it. So if you can kind of combine both, I think we'll keep a lot more of us. But I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So 
That's what's up. I couldn't rap like you, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so I yeah. find a way to do something. Don't worry. Serve your purpose. Don't worry. You, you, you figure something out, man. Battle yeah. rappers are not in the same You can pay them to go right? invested. That's true. You can pay them to go That's true. That's true. Ah, uh, we're going to take that out. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to yeah. take that out. You drop an album next week. 10%. 10%. See, <laughs> you got to broker the fee. I'm going to need 10%. Uh, on a spiritual level, yeah. Uh, are there other practices that go along with this? Manifestations, yeah. Um, affirmations. Are you doing those things also? Have to. You got to believe in God. My favorite book is As a Man Thinker. Hmm. Have to. Like, I don't think if you have the framework to believe in yourself. And I think when even when people don't have great work ethic, it's a sign that you don't trust or believe in you. Mm. Like, I'll look at other people in the space who are more talented. And I'll talk to Troy and Rashad about this. I'm like, how many people are better technically at broadcasting, but y'all won't break y'all schedule? Well, they break their schedule because they don't believe. I've seen a lot of podcasts. You going to take eight weeks off? Nigga, your show's done. How if you're Carisha? It's, it's, what, that, that's a different back end. <laughs> yeah, that's a different situation. Right you know there. what I mean? But most Shout people can't do that. Yeah. But yeah, I believe in God. Affirmations are key. Say prayers every night. But yeah, you have to affirm w what you want to be. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's not going to resonate. Like, this, this doesn't happen by luck mm -hmm. at all. I just got into scripting. Really? Just. Yeah. Just. Which the person who told me, to, the three people who told me to do it all said the same thing. Bro, you're a writer. How are you not scripting? Yeah. You're, you're literally detail with the pen. How mm. is this not the thing you're doing? Yeah. But I didn't have an answer. Yeah. I didn't have an answer. I just got into that. A lot of people don't tap into their potentials. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing too. Some some people don't have the the bravery that it takes to to do it. To they, say, they you know what? It, they scared of I failure. There's that right. there's, 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 you gotta believe. Also yeah. scared of believe. success. There's also a fear there's of success. There's a lot success. of people yeah. who are afraid yeah. of success. I see a lot more yeah. that yeah. than yeah. failure. Yeah, true. And there's also, I think, I think there's a lot of people who you you're spending your energy in the wrong way. You want the sexy job, but the sexy job might not be your calling. Mm -hmm. Right. And I see a lot of people. I want to yeah. be a boss, but you're not really. That's not. Not right. Right. And you wouldn't be happy if you got that role. I, being in the, being at the source, I've seen a lot of people assume leadership positions. Yeah. Because it was given, and they right. they thought they wanted it, and then they got it. And it fucking fucking miserable. You came with too much. Women. I grew up with a bunch of my all my sisters. I used to see women get the guy that they thought they, they wanted, wanted and get the life that they thought they wanted, and now they're miserable. miserable. They're having no fun. They're not well, happy. Well, when you say thought they wanted. Because they never had it before. No, they, no, but they, they walk into these situations with expectations. That's my point. That's tough. And most people don't understand that. All right, to have this, it's got to come with something. It's always a trade-off. Mm -hmm. There's always a trade-off. Yeah. Sometimes you may not be equipped to fulfill that, or what you're trading off is something that was like uh, a number one on your, your priority list. Yeah. You were in on the heist. You just didn't like your cut. Yeah. All the time. You're in on the heist. This is what you said you wanted, but now you got it, and you're pissed. You wanted a man who makes money, who will spoil you, blah, blah, blah. What you left out is time. Your right. deal breaker was time. Right. And he spends his time making money. You're not a priority over this bread. Right. So now you in this mansion or this condo or this vacation spot, but you by yourself. Yeah. He's on the phone all the time and he's on the computer all the time and he's not ashamed of it because this is what he's about. Now they lonely and, and sneaking niggas in the mansion. And, and it happens a lot, yo. <laughs> you never lie. You're lonely and uh, sneaking in. Fellas, you better find a way to spend that time, but somebody gonna spend it. And he got so. he got cameras in the crib because he's danced yeah, this dance he, before. And then you out. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. And you were happier when you had a guy who had a nine to five who came home to you every night who took Cheating you on vacation on your a couple day. times. You dealt with it. Nah, nah, the nine to five dude didn't do it. Like Listen, the grass Next, isn't always greener. On the other side. That's, that's my, that's my yeah, point. You got to water that's your own grass. Point. Right. That's yeah. my point. Poor. So the manifestations, uh, affirmations, uh, Same prayer. with you. You got to be crazy to believe that you can do some of the shit that you've done. That's why, like, when you be going through your shit and I hit you, like, yo, don't. We, for those of us who walk that journey, you have to have undeniable belief 
yeah. to be a black man to do the shit that we're doing. Because trust me, it there, was not laid out. Be, Yo, stick to this. <laughs> stick to that. No. Stick to this. Stick to that. Nah. You're not just stick you to this. You did this. You put your mind to this. This is your baby. You got here. Don't take nobody else's advice. Do what you do. Stay in your lane. Uh, no, no, you know take what? Advice. It's funny. No, you got to take advice. Especially take from, advice, especially but from I'm haters. saying, though, you got, you got people that, that just want to say shit that don't make sense. You got to consider like, you don't, the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to consider the source. Time. No, no, no. I, take advice. But consider the source. Yeah, right. 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 You can't. There's certain people who you can. There's certain people you can't take advice from, though. You can't yeah. tell me how to get where I'm trying to go when you never left to go anywhere. That's exactly Listen, what man. I'm talking about. Yeah. Listen, Goku can't tell you that you know you you're not good at what you do. He's talking about you know <laughs> what I mean the little fake pages and all profiles. That, little, yeah, fake profiles. You see little Chinese babies. You know and all but that. even with the haters, though, they're the best advisors. A hater will tell you what to do to be better and beat them. Hmm. I always tell anybody who don't like me, they're better off not saying nothing. I got a document, 45 pages long, of every criticism of me. <laughs> every year, I make an adjustment. Great. Go you, oh, you got away from the suits. And go, okay, get back to the suit presentation. Cool. I'm right. glad you brought the board out. Shit, mm -hmm. felt like loaded lust. Okay. <laughs> get this work, man. I got five. Like, okay. Right. A lot of times we get so offended, they're confused fans. I wish you would get back to da 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 da. I tell Joe to say, I'm like, okay, great. Take the source away. Joe Button. The, the, listen to what he's saying, though. Right. Make a little tweak. Them tweaks I made made me a lot of money. A lot of money. And should get back to the basics. Okay. The basics of thought. Apple, Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA. And I'm about oh. to get right to it. Thank you. I'm about to get yeah, right it to it. Yeah. Spell this one. NVIDIA. N-V-I-D-I-A. NVIDIA. It looked like D-A for a second. NVIDIA is a ticker. NVIDIA. Yeah. I threw me because there's a there's a distribution company called Vidia. Gotcha. And I thought that's what you were saying, but it's NVIDIA. NVIDIA, yeah. Okay. You got copy. Now, I want to move into this section because I feel like this is, you know, we kind of been talking about this in pieces yeah. as a successful black man in America. Yeah. How hard is it to date? You want the real answer or you want the bullshit answer? I want the real answer. I always want the real answer. I want to hear the bullshit answer first, though. Uh, the bullshit answer is dating is not hard. The choices that we make are reflective of what we are at the time. That's the okay. bullshit PR answer, right? Right. The real answer, it can be tough. Um, truth is though, it can be a lot of fun though. It can be a lot of fun. I think once you, you, you have to be very clear on who you are and you have to be able to filter out who's there for you versus who's there for the moment. So a lot you, of people want how to do you filter intuition and then counsel. She, I still ask my mom and dad, what you think? Mm. My mom wants you to oh, no, no, that bitch, she. <laughs> <laughs> that fun, that fun, that bitch, but after two months, uh, no, I don't even want to hear nothing about it, right? Yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> my dad shoot my friends, like, and then you know, then you like date people stop, think think grass is greener. It's like you could have had something great right in front of you the whole time mm -hmm. and then fumble the shit. So um, but I think once you get past the ego part of just like wanting to run through everything, you will, I think men know. Well, if I gotta ask you, like, yo, what you think of old girl? Tell me about old girl from the Bronx. I know what old girl from the Bronx on when I met her. Mm -hmm. I just want you to tell me, nah, go ahead and fuck with shorty. Yeah. She ain't gonna finesse you. She right. finessed everybody out here. Why well, I'm gonna be different. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta go through. But some of those lessons cost people a lot of money, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The amount of, like, somebody just got locked up over the child support and like, niggas be going through shit picking the mm -hmm. wrong person. That's a fact. Right. You got to be careful. So Sleep with you, you got to wonder because you we we hear these headlines on certain people having a lot of baby mothers. Yeah. After a while, you got to wonder why are you choosing to be number nine. Oh, some of them don't even know. Niggas be like, I ain't got no. Oh no 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 no. What's we talking, talking about? They, they, they know. know. Oh, they, they know. know. That's something different. I'm about to be number nine. Yeah. Number. But it's still 11. a choice being made. Yeah. I think that's reflective on you. Yeah. You know. True. But as men, like everything that we do is like good or bad comes down to us. Like some people just like chaos. 
I went to that child support shit one time of course. I said, I'll never be this motherfucker again. I don't sign his NDA. Sign a baby over for a chick. No, never again. So you're at the NDA point. Oh, mandatory. And when do when do you present it? Day one. Day one. Unless I've been fucking with you, day one. Before you even come through, hey, sign it. See, y'all try to criticize me, man. No, nah, not really. Nah, once you start getting up, you you start getting up there like that. Why not? Have yeah. to. You ain't finna monetize yeah. your hate off me. You can't hate on me, but let me executive produce it. Hell yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck that. You gonna have me a shade room and shit. Hollywood yeah. unlock. I'm gonna be calling Jason. They take this down. No hate, but let me profit yeah. off of it. Right. Hell yeah. Cool. Right. I'll yep. take you right to the publicist. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Are your parents together? No, they haven't been together since I was a kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's it's rough when you don't have a, a blueprint to follow exactly. Yeah. You try to try to figure out exactly what it looks like. Yeah. I know a lot of dudes from my uh, <sighs> my era will tell them, uh, well, my dad taught me how to be a man, but you know, Heathcliff Huxtable taught me how to be a husband. Yeah. It's the only example was watching television and trying to see what it looked like, and mm-hmm. you get in real life. The problems don't wrap up in a half hour. Yeah. She's going to be mad for like a cut, and you need to figure out why. Hey, if you conflict don't, resolution. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's tough. Like being a husband, being a father. Yeah, yeah. Dudes that teach you what to do or what not to do. Yeah. And it's rough trying to learn that kind of shit on the fly. You wonder why we have so many conflicts. Mm-hmm. I can't even tell you what's wrong with me without you getting mad at me. Yeah. How does that work? I can't tell you what you did wrong without you getting mad at me for how I told you what you did wrong. Yeah. Now I'm in the doghouse because you did something. And all that stuff, I see all that comes with a husband. All my OGs who are married, I'm always like being a fly on the wall and listening to the arguments. And I think about the things that I have the patience for. I don't have the patience for that they do. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you, how you navigate okay that? With yeah, that? Yeah. <sighs> She's bugging. How are you not just saying, "Yo, yeah. you're bugging. Um, Something's wrong with you." So, sometimes it's your, it's your choices, and sometimes there is a balance there. She may be bugging right now, mm-hmm. but in this area, she's a amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's you the thing I, mean? I have you, to learn. You yeah, put yeah, it on yeah. a scale, and it's like, uh, yeah. I, I think we could do counseling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I could talk her into psychologists, but because yeah. in this area. I haven't met and she surpasses all like flying Yeah, there's no 100% yeah. of right. the, the, no for nobody. Right. My problem is my indifference. You're yeah, super yeah, Matt, that is definitely I lose, your, your I lose a lot. <laughs> what is that rooted in though? My indifference? Yeah. Multiple, long story. Yeah. A lot of different, a lot of different sources, but I don't. <laughs> can, I, can I take a guess? Sure, yeah. knock yourself out. Um, I'll tell you if, if you're right or wrong. I think you do have a fear of failure. Of failing? Yes. Nah. I think so. Nah. A fear of feeling? F- failing. 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 Oh, okay. Failing. Nah, I that, think I I'm I'm telling you, Mac. I've I failed. I've failed. I was homeless in my senior year of high school. Like I I know failure. I'm not afraid of failure. Failure. No, not that type of failure. No, I mean any any kind of <laughs> You mean like romantically? Uh, romantically, just right. just stepping outside of the comfort, comfort zone. zone. Yeah, and that's and why you failure wear, from, wear show tops every fucking failure from, episode. No, I wear show right. tops every episode because you're scared for me I to like tell shell you. I'm just <laughs> whack, nigga. Now you come on the shop. <laughs> And you know I'm not I'm not really gonna do that, but no, I, I I wouldn't. I, there's a comfort zone about you. Though. I wouldn't. Like, I like, wouldn't care if. Someone critique my sneakers. Someone critique my jeans, my hoodie, my hair, my whatever. I wouldn't care if we we're not together anymore. We are together and we're having a good time. We're not having a good. I wouldn't care. Like the, 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 this. So if I failed at something, mm-hmm. failed to who? But this is what I'm saying. That comfort of not caring, it it's does, not, it it's, doesn't it, propel you. Hold either. on. It's not comfortable. I'm actually actively trying to figure it out. I'm not comfortable. Gotcha. Well, you got to take a risk. What? Well, that doesn't scare something me either. Hasn't changed. But I, I no, I'm trying. What I'm trying to figure. You heard me say this to you before. You just don't. You didn't catch it. What is it? I said one time, my indifference bothers me to the point where I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. 
because I think I should care about more than I do. Yeah. I think right. I should be more concerned about X, Y, Z, A, B, and C, one, two, and three. But I watch people lose their minds over shit, and I, I find myself just trying to figure out what, why right. are we discussing this? How are you this excited about? So, so walk backwards to the point where you first felt like you I'm, needed to not care, care. about I'm, something that bothered you a lot. I'm, and boom, I'm legit, you'll find it. I'm legit working on it. The things I care about, I really care about. No, I'm but saying. But the things I don't care about, I can't figure out how to care about. Mac, I, if I, if I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to point it out on camera, but I think there are a few events that happened in your life that traumatically affected you. Sure. And, and to and to move forward, you had to learn to to at least uh, bury those feelings. feelings yeah. And in burying those feelings, you also buried the feelings for everything else. Very possible. Like yeah, like a protection mechanism. Yeah. Very yeah. possible. Yeah. I so just, now I it's... just I just don't know what the I just have no idea what that is. And you <laughs> have been no like idea. this as a kid. This is gonna, this is gonna sound or adult. I got a top three list. <laughs> Did this happen like as a kid or when you were an adult? I don't remember ever feeling different. Damn. Okay. So that's why the walk back is is uh, that's why like I, when I talk to a counselor, when I talk to like a therapist or something. And they're like, well, what, what's, what's, what triggered this? And I'm, hey guys, leave it in the comments what you think it is. Just don't know, be disrespectful. Just know. But leave it in the comments what you think it just is. Just know that when you leave it in the comments what you think it is, that I'm not gonna care. He don't give a fuck. Just son. know I'm not gonna but, care. But just That's the projection blessing, of yeah. that. I is just not need to say. I just need to say it. No, because there are people who are gonna say something with the with the intention to. Why are you predicting that? To trigger some shit because it's it's, it's it's that's the internet. Right. Right. But you just heard. Yeah. That there may be a little piece of that. I'm all for it. Yeah. Like bring 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 it on. I'm all for <laughs> it. Right. But I'm just know it. when you get started. <laughs> Yeah. Mechanism Monday. It's like Snuffleupagus on he his show. Like, one of Ooh, okay. gonna roast one of y'all. Who cares? I'm, I'm much, I'm much better looking than Snuffleupagus. <laughs> <laughs> much better. Looking. So, so much. I'm better. I'm telling you, man. I, 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 we can have a conversation after this. I give you a top three list. Um, I'm sure you will. Right. Gotta ask personally. How did you get y'all navigate game care the changes in the show? Like, what was like the biggest lesson you you learned from it? Because I feel like everybody in media is going through a change right. from Disney, Netflix on down to the podcasting sphere. Right. Like, if you could do anything different, what would you do different? And but what have you learned from the changes that you made? If I could do anything different, um, there were opportunities that I turned down last year that definitely are gonna I'm gonna put in play this year. Yeah. Um, live shows, staying connected, um, being more present yeah. in the scene. Yeah. These are things that, you know, at the time I was I was enjoying myself. I was enjoying, you know, and I, and I, and a lot of this happened for me spending time by myself. Yeah. So I kind of was like, yeah. Well, this can't be a bad thing, but you're in a new space. Yeah. Something has to change. You can't continue to do the same things over and over and over and you see the results coming from it and you're just continuing. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? So I think being more present and connecting with the people, that was the number one thing that I feel like built this audience. Yeah. During COVID, I went live every single yeah, he's night. Going crazy. Read between the lines. Yeah. And I, I developed a very strong fan base and supporter, support system yeah. through that that kind of led into the success of my expert opinion. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, you know, kind of kind of tracing back my steps. All right. Okay. I've been doing this. It's not working. When did things change? What helped me? Okay. I was doing this. Yeah. And that helped. So let's let's step back and see what else we can do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of y'all, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm proud mm -hmm. of y'all. But y'all created this phenomenon, y'all. Thank you. For real. Shit is an inspiration. So I appreciate it. Well, I learned from these two brothers just sitting here. We, we feed off of each other energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from Mech. I learned a lot from Math. He learned everything from me. Cap. Yeah. 
See this? You can't give niggas they flowers. You see, you try to be nice. You still gotta give it to him. You know I, mean? I always give this nigga his flowers. Yeah. But this is how he repays me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I learned you a lot from both of them. You know what I'm saying? Why? I'm just, oh, like on and off camera. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, we had real conversations. I hang out with Mac. I hang out with Math. Yeah. We had real conversations behind the scenes, and I have, I learned from both of them. So you know, these are the only two guys I really fuck with off camera. Okay. In real life, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody and they mamas, but these the only two guys right here I really rock with like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I feed off their energy. When I'm when I'm having like real life situations, my guys is there for me. Right. In real life, you know what I'm saying? So right. that's what it's about. Can't ask for yeah. nothing else. You know what I mean? Solid individuals. Yeah. Yep. And success brings a lot of people around you. When did you learn to like, whoa, I gotta close the door a little bit? Man, probably two, three years ago. Like fake cousins. Yeah, <laughs> just people want to be around just to be around. That's right. a fact. And I'm like, if you want to be around just to kick it, tell me that. Mm -hmm. But don't be like, yo, I'm gonna help. I wanna help build. And you know to get the speech. Yeah. yeah. I wanna help you build Empire King. We see the opportunity. It's like, dog, I'm the only one with the shovel. Right. It's tough. Yeah. Like had those real conversations and then you got five dollars I could borrow. It's tough, bro. <laughs> yeah. the mother. And 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 did it, did you get to a point where you were confused on who was real and who was? Yeah, yeah, especially like two years ago. It what was, was what was the one situation that made you go? Oh, um, this is crazy. Like I would go through shit, and you know, cause you know how and that can get. It'd be like moments when you get attacked and shit, and it's like you're hitting me like what I should do, but I'm like you're not defending nothing, like. If I'm being in a gunfight by myself, I want everything in the war chest. Mm -hmm. Right. We're done. Like, if you fuck with me, fuck with me. But, or if not, cool. But I also learned to, like, my mom, to, like, yo, th these are your party friends. Mm. Mm. These not your real motherfucking friends that you grew mm -hmm. up in. It's play ball with in seventh grade. Right. Yeah, seventh right. and eighth mm -hmm. grade with in college and shit. Like, mm -hmm. no. If you have to question if a person is there for you, they're not. Mm -hmm. I got a homeboy that if someone says something to me online, yeah. he doesn't say shit to me. Yeah. But a blog goes up. And he's all types of yeah. this y'all nigga. But he don't never let yeah. tell me I'm going to do this or whatever. Yeah. I just see it. Like, and I'll be like, action. yo, yeah, I appreciate that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Or Kato. 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 Uh, and a lot of that is trauma too. Cause like we wanted people to look out for us. Right. So we'll overgive and a person didn't ask for it. Right. That's the thing I learned too. I'm like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how much you pay or how much access you give and shit like that. Like, you know, if they didn't ask for it, I can't be mad at them for it. I just have to learn, like, okay, if you not if you didn't earn it, don't give it to them. Because mm -hmm. that's when that entitlement starts to kick in. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like what well, we did this. And before, they become spoiled. Yeah, it's like you're bro, not entitled to anything. Yeah. No, you're not entitled. Time, to money, conversation, resources, mm -hmm. your next breath. You're not entitled yeah. to any of it. But flying alone, not bad. I know the introvert thing is tough. Like even with me, yeah. I gotta work my way around the city and yeah. shake hands and kiss babies. But like I like to just build on my own and create right. on my own. But mm -hmm. different levels, you have to learn how to network. And some people are, don't like it. Are you an introvert or are you a loner? Great question. Uh, creatively, I'm a lone wolf. Okay, for sure. Yeah. It, like all of my best ideas have come up like in when you're by yourself and quiet. Mm -hmm. Just talking to God. That's why, like, I like going to Mexico. I go walk the beach, pray, tell me which way to go. Then right. you get to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. um, but yeah, that's a great question. Lonely. I get I get confused. I get called an introvert a lot. And I'm yeah. Not. Yeah. It's just it. it I, and I wonder how many other people who are loners think that they're introverts. When that's they, a great point. You're 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 not though. You, yeah. You just rather be by yourself. That doesn't mean you have an aversion to being around people. Yeah. I dig being around people. I just like yeah. being by myself. Yeah, the Chris. What's, what's the definition of introvert? <laughs> Meg be out. What's the crazy. definition? Meg don't stick around too Thanks. long. I go anywhere with my boy Meg. Meg be like, you be like, yo, what's up with Meg? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah. I love him though. It's good to have him. Let's see. You live and longer. You know what? Just sure. to answer your question. Waste. Something I just thought of, like what what did you learn? Yeah. Man, I need to take my own advice. Tell me more. I give a lot of advice to a lot of people who always ask me what to they do. should do next. Don't take that advice for myself. Really? Why is that? 
I think it's because I've seen what comes with the places that they're trying to get to. Right. And it's like a it feels like a headache. Headache. But, but why do you feel like that's gonna be your path? Well, um, because especially I know. if you can anticipate. Well, which one are we talking about? The headache um, or the the, the headache? Because well, the, if you because already know, there's a headache in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Could you navigate in a way where you would have less of a headache, being that you see it coming? Less of a headache still equals a headache. The headache is inevitable. You so it's just you're you, just you, headache. You, you Anti-headache. No, no, you cannot. This you is something I tell. There's no hiding from the headache. There's no way around. Right. It, it literally comes with the thing, with the thing on the want. other side. Well, if, yeah, if you there want, if you no want the pre away. princess, you gotta get King Cooper the fuck yeah, out of yeah. here. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. What's the thing I said? What's the thing you said before? If you order a pizza, it comes with cheese and sauce. If you don't want the cheese and you don't want the sauce, it's no longer a pizza. All these people want a level of success, and there's a road there's to it. There's layers that come. But with it. there is, there's no avoiding the, the crust. Headache. Like there's no avoiding it. Yeah. There's no way around it. The only way around is through. Right. But you, there's definitely one hundred percent. So why don't you take your own advice? Because I, the headache for the longest time. Didn't really seem worth it, mm. but so, I I think now with the headaches that I'm already having, mm -hmm. it's almost like you might as well elevate and get the. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. Like what am I yeah, doing? Beat like these I, headaches, you got to get that headache. It's it's <laughs> almost like trading a headache. Yeah. Like I've had this one for the last. Uh, just all right. Well, fuck it. Like and again, this is maybe the last. Six months, gotcha. six seven months. Okay. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Three, two, two yeah. months, two and a half months. I've just been like, uh, what am I doing? Yeah. yeah. I could, I could, I. Uh, this is happening anyway. That's that, and it feels like everything keeps pushing me to take my own advice. It's yeah, that, like, that'd be right. God, like nigga. Yeah. You can't no, stay no. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting that feeling. Like, the lava's it, it, rising. It wasn't around, but lately it's felt it. It feels like I'm. I can't avoid it. Everything feels inevitable. There's an intention to the things that you want. There is a a hidden desire Damn. that you speak of. Don't 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 get comfortable. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, get comfortable. I'm it's trying okay. To, it's trying okay, man. It's okay. My, trying to crack. I know. My it's, shit. A, it's okay. It's okay. Control control it. The jitter, right? The and who? The jitter. The, the jitter. The, 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 I don't have a jitter. Don't focus on that, please. Um, there are things that you speak of. There's things that inside you want. And you're in a blessed position because apparently you're being pushed towards them. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is let go of the, I think this is going to happen and replace it with, I'm going to get what I want. I know that. Think what I'm saying? Yeah. I have what I want. Now, now it's looking like I'm about to have something else. It's cool. It's cool. It you is shooting it up is. the club, Mac. Yeah, oh, I'm telling you. I want to just invite me to the baby shower, bro. Oh, 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 Mac. Congratulations, Mac. That's amazing. Wow, I didn't know you was a baby. One horny nigga, <laughs> one baby father, one baby father times five. Of course that's where your mind goes. Absolutely not what I'm talking about at all. Uh, <laughs> so one, one horny nigga. I got, a, I got a condom on right now. You niggas are bugging. <laughs> like, you niggas is wild. That's no, that's not what I'm doing. And if that was the case, I wouldn't announce it. <laughs> Here. <laughs> this show is already too much about me. Back to oh, Eva. Back to Eva. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nigga said I got a rub on right now, that's son. Funny. Yeah, How, how's dating, dating for you? You've been famous way longer than me. Um, You've been famous a long fucking time. Oh, this is, this, it's, you're sorting. You're yeah. constantly sorting. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do you know if they want you for the right reason versus... The, uh, uh, the, it, it, the right reason is subjective. That's the, can they provide what you want? Fuck their reason. Can they provide what you okay. want and can you handle, you know, uh, it, it, is this person a necessity? Yeah. Or is this person worth it? Yeah. And the worth it part usually comes down to two things. How family-orientated they are. Yeah. 
and can they provide peace? Oh my God, that last one, bro. Yeah. The third thing is, can they accept me? But okay, I can make an adjustment so on me if you are good at the first two. Yeah. You hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. That's some wisdom, though. Yeah. I wasn't expecting <laughs> that answer from you. For yeah, real. Nah, real talk. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, that peace part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like you can't, you can't function, even though new things are created, new ideas come to you in chaos. Like everything new is born in chaos. Yeah. But you need peace to maintain it. Though. You need peace to create. Yeah, yeah. So you can take the chaos. Oh, I have an idea. Now give me the peace and yeah. I'm going to create. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's how it is for me. See, I gave you a skateboard. But yo, stop, bro. You're, I'm, I'm make you. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> you want to. I didn't say nothing. Yo, he over here smirking. What you smirking for, Mac? <laughs> yeah, where's it coming from? Yo, what is that huh? about, he, Mac? He, self-inflicted problems. That's what he's about to say. I mean, well, so I, that's where he's going. Peace is an inside job. True. Mm. And too often an we create unpeaceful um, environments and they expect peace from other people. Instead of trying to find somebody who to provide peace, look for someone who doesn't d- disrupt it. It's a different, right. yeah. different Yeah, I mean, but that, that, okay. that's part Preach. of what I'm saying. It's a di- it's a di- I know. Yeah. I know that's what you mean. That's I'm why not I'm like, everything's burning. Give me peace. Yeah, that's yeah. why I, that's uh, why I'm I was like, smirking. I have peace. Can you maintain it? That's yeah. why I was smirking. How about just don't bother me? <sighs> but no. see, that's too disconnected. That's then you don't I, want a woman. That's <laughs> where I. That's where I fuck up. That's, They're going to bother you again. Yeah. That, no, bother you. but if it's worth it, again, we're back. We're that's back to square one. Right. If it's worth it, then it's not really a bother. It's the cost of doing business. It's what comes with the pizza. It's what's necessary. It's it's the it's the it's the inevitable headache. Right. Right. But it's worth it because X Y Z A B and C one two and three. So it's not that it's not that it's terrible. But I'm saying. I always tell everybody, men, women, whatever, peace is an inside job. I got peace. I need you not to fuck it up. Right. Don't come That's in here disrupting quote. my shit. Like, how about we just be peaceful together? Or when it's not peaceful, we find a way to get back to it as soon as possible. I I'm disappear. peaceful by myself. Did, did you hear about the statistic where there's a 77% um, rate on a partner who invests in their partner's um, business or careers? No, I hear that. I've never heard that. Never no. heard that? Mm-mm. Well, apparently that's a t- statistic that's being thrown around on Instagram. Allegedly, so, I thought you were going to say eighty no, percent. but I believe it. Divorce first. You believe it. I believe it. You know, certain people come into your life, yeah, and you know they they pour into you, yeah, mm, mm-hmm. and it might not be money. It might not. It might just be. Now, I believe, yeah, and I might look crazy to everyone else, yeah, but I'm gonna sit here and look crazy until I don't look crazy no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that energy yeah, is amazing. Very important. Yeah. Very important. So it's always crazy the until somebody you does keep it. around you. Huh? No. It's, it's always crazy until somebody does yeah. it. It always looks wild until somebody pulls it off. Right. And all of a sudden it's, oh shit, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, it's like a million girlfriends. Why you fuck with him? I don't know. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, look what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah we're, we're in perfect. Paris, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Why you take her here? You what? You stupid enough to leave? That's why. Stupid enough to get put out. Right. Hey, I'm that in happens. Paris and you're in trouble. <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, but what a life. Um, your life is good. Thank God for you guys. You have us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take this information. Do what you can with it. If you already knew it, you know, you know, thumbs up, thumbs up the content. If you if you're new to it. Please go follow the brother Ian Dunlap. Appreciate you. Um, Market Mondays, that's going down. Uh, Mechanism Mondays, also. I want to see see a lot more happen with that because that's. I, I didn't do one today because it was. You know I'm I mean? working on it. It'll be fine. Sometimes on Tuesday. The Brooklyn Way, new series. That's right. The Brooklyn and Way TV, the Brooklyn Way movie on the way, season four on the way. Go subscribe to the Brooklyn Way TV right now. Join the members. To watch season three right now, twenty eight fully loaded episodes. We Damn, going crazy. That's right. amazing. We not you, playing. You, you can't see my man that's behind the camera, Aaron <laughs> Ross, incredible artist. That's right. We got a few ATM projects coming. Aaron plus math, just in case you haven't put fire. it together. Fire. And um, all Commando Beach Ass Productions. <laughs> Beach your ass productions. <laughs>
Listen, man, we're here to inspire each other. We're here to give out that energy and, you know, to see all of us succeed. That's that's why you're sitting here. Some yeah. of you guys were invested in my career, invested in Mac, invested in Gat, invested in the show. Um, here's some investments or reinvestments into your life from us. Salute. Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.